Why am I down here? I'm back. <laughs> oh, I mean, hello, Triton. Ugh. Twitch hates ad blocker. Why does Twitch hate blo ad blocker? <laughs> Can't speak. Hello, cutest of all succubi. Now that's what I like to hear. That That's what I like to see. I just want to watch stream. Well, maybe you shouldn't have your ad blocker on. How else am I supposed to make, you know, four pennies per stream off of ads? If not, if not with, oh my God, <laughs> Lulu has grown her wings for 20 months. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Also, how are you, Lulu? How are you? Uh, <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm so, ugh, I'm so stuffed up for some reason. I guess it's because I haven't, I don't think I've literally like spoken a single word today. <laughs> I've just been like completely silent. So like, I probably should have, man, I remember back when I was first streaming, I used to do vocal warm-ups for straight up, like 40, I, I did a 45 minute vocal warm-up before every single stream. Fuck that. <laughs> it's not what I do anymore. Uh, I'm good. Wait on my foods because hungry. Oh my God. What, what foods did you buy? Uh, vocal warm-ups are important though. They can be. I was taking things really seriously back then. I've gotten more loosey-goosey over the years. I, I, I'm very sorry about that. I'm, I'm sorry for being casual and open. <laughs> just scream incoherently for 10 minutes. That's that's not a vocal warm-up. That's that's just called screaming. <laughs> that's not... Uh, nuggies? She got the fucking nuggies. Got them chicken nuggies. Hey, Lulu. An answer me this, uh, do you, do you like chicken nuggies to the point that, like, you know, you know, if you had the ability to shape shift and change your body, you know, you would, like, uh, you would, like, make yourself into, like, a chicken, and then you would, uh, like, so that you could sneak up and, and catch chicken to make them into nuggies. Do you, is that something that you think that you would do? Like that's 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 something that most people would do, right? Exploding nuggets. This is a fetish thing. Self-report. <laughs> wait, wait. The nuggies. The nuggies or the or the or the explode into nuggets. <laughs> Listen. <clears throat> oh my god. I'm just asking a basic question. Turn, the turny into bunny, I mean chicken. Yes, I mean chicken. And they remind that chickens are cannibalistic murder hobos that are dinosaurs. I eat them almost daily. Oh, let me go. It's a problem. <laughs> Poor chickens. I mean, you know. <laughs> Poor chickens. Dang it, a little late. You're fine. You're fine. No, because you were late, you're getting banned from stream. Goodbye forever. See you around. <laughs> Sending them off to the Shadow Realm, sorry. <laughs> but Mina, what about bunny nuggets? I don't, I don't know about bunny nuggets. I, I don't think I've ever had bunny nuggets. I just drain the life force from things, you see. <laughs> But like, I like bunnies. I just think bunnies are cute, okay? And you know, you know, I just wanna drain the life force from things that I like. Is that such a crime? Is that such a crime? Rabbit stew is pretty delicious though. I I'm sure I'll be having rabbit stew uh, like pretty soon because uh, the friends that I'm moving in with, uh, they. <laughs> They own rabbits and they, they, they breed rabbits. They, they eat the rabbits. 
So I'll get to try it. I'll get to try some rabbit stew. Liking themes is a crime for sure. That's, you know what? <laughs> You're totally right. <laughs> Liking things is a crime. And uh, if you, uh, if you, uh, if you like things, specifically if it's something that I don't like, uh, then that's definitely a crime. Bunnies are cute. She has nibbled on my ear. <laughs> I have. Listen, bunny ears, they're big. And they're like kind of, they're kind of fluffy, but also kind of like, you know, like soft. You know, they're good for nibbling. What can I say? Don't judge me. <laughs> Are psychos and kill them? No. No, those bunnies get to live happy lives. They get to live happy lives and just at the end of it, then they kill them. <laughs> no, get the buns away from Mina? No. Why would you do that? Don't do that. You shouldn't do that. That's not something you should do. I want the bunny. I want them, and that makes it okay for me to have them. I like your new model. Someone please arrest me. <laughs> wait. Oh my gosh, wait, do you have a new model? Oh, I haven't seen. Ugh. I'm so... I'm so behind on everything because at this point I basically just do like my own streams and that's kind of it. I'm hoping to change that soon though. I'm, I'm going to, I've got some collabs set up. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of collabs uh, set up for when I kind of like get back on schedule. But this month is going to be fucky. This month I'm moving. If I, I really should have made, I shouldn't have just like talked about this on a single stream. I should have definitely made like an announcement announcement. But yeah, I'm moving. <laughs> so this month, um, I, not many streams this month. I, I'm sorry. I wanted to have more streams. I really did. But I've got something really special at the end, obviously. Um, and I hope you all are excited for that. I'm excited. Um, and then... Uh, in April, I've got a bunch of cool stuff planned. Bunch of cool stuff planned. We'll be doing a bunch of cool things. Moving sucks. Hope it goes well. I've been, uh, I've been planning it. <laughs> I, uh, it's definitely, I'm, I'm going to be driving for four days straight. Right. <laughs> it's going to be insane. But, uh, I, I've like hit up a bunch of friends uh, and, uh, family and, and stuff that I could stay with on my way. So, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be kind of cool. It's gonna be kind of like a road trip. Bunny for practice? Oh yeah, we gotta practice. Yeah, the cat's out of the bag now. You, you're aware, you're aware of Bunny. Wait, you're driving it? How am I gonna get my stuff over there, Triton? Okay, that's not entirely true. So you can... I, I believe you can get, like, a pod. There's, like, a service that'll, like, pack up your things and take them for you, and then you can fly. But, like, I was like, man, I want to do a road... I want to say that I've driven across the country, you know? That's such a cool thing to be able to say, and also probably cheaper. <laughs> and uh, cost-effectiveness is... <laughs> well, it's very important. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm, um, currently at, at this moment right now, right here, all I, all I do is stream. <laughs> uh, so like, you know, it's, it's very important. It's very important that I, <laughs> that I do cost, cost effective. I mean, obviously I'm, I'm on the hunt. I'm get I'm getting on that fucking job hunt, baby. Woo! I'm, I can't wait. <laughs> I can wait. <laughs> I can't wait to get rejected. And I, I, I feel like it'd be unfair to use my succubus charms in the job interview. But I could. But I could. It would work. <laughs> Maybe if things get desperate, you know. Desperate times call for desperate succubus measures, you know. There are multiple moving options, but that's fair. My brother road tripped when he moved out that way, too. Yeah, oh, cool. I can drive four hours in one direction and not leave my own state. 
I have dr so like I'm gonna be taking it in like you know uh like a nine to nine to ten hour kind of chunks which like I've done before so pods are a great way to move and way cheaper than moving trucks for future reference don't want to take your epic trip away are they cheaper? I might, I might genuinely like look into it, maybe switch plans if it's cheaper, but like, well, I'm not getting a moving truck. I, I don't have that much stuff. <laughs> I, nor would I want to like, I mean, I, I guess I've got, I've got a good amount of stuff, but like, like, you know, I'm not going to take it all with me unless I'm entirely sure that I'm going to like stay over there forever. It might just be for a year. It might just be for six months. It might be for five years. I don't really know. And honestly, for the first time in my life, that's not like an anxiety thing. For the first time in my life, I'm like, that's kind of exciting. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what opportunities I'm going to run into. <sighs> How exciting. It is exciting. It's a little nerve wracking. But, like, I also have to recognize that I'm in a position where a lot of people care about me. I, I, I recognize that I'm in a position to not be as worried as, like, you know, other people potentially could be. Uh, because I have a lot of people who, who love me and who care about me, which, you know, is, is not something that everyone, everyone has. And so I, I recognize, you know, that that, that, that is a thing. But yeah, I don't know. I, um, it, it, it feels so real now. I was kind of dreading it, you know? I was kind of dreading this move, like, a month or two ago. Because it just, like, felt like my time, like, kind of, like, like my, my time being, like, physically near people that could just, like, oh, here's some food because you're out of food. Like, that time was out, but, like, I mean, I'm going to be with friends, you know? So, I don't know. I think I'm just rambling about my life. <laughs> Did you come here to watch me play Sanabi or to ramble about my life? Because uh, what you're going to get is both. Here's what you're going to... Oh, huh? <laughs> Thank you for the prime. Thank you so much. Mwah, I really appreciate it. Yeah, so I am going to sit here and finish Sanabi, by the way. I'm not going to stop until we finish it. Um... Because honestly, I don't know when the next time I'll stream is. Um, I'm spending a lot of this month visiting with family because I'm not going to see them. <laughs> I'm not going to see them uh, for, I mean, I I'll fly back, you know, for visits and stuff, but like, or maybe even take a plane. But uh, like, you know, I I'm, I'm trying to spend some time with, with, um, with family and friends around here uh, before I take off and and then uh, and then hopefully in April we'll get back on a proper schedule and uh, that'll be really exciting that that'll be I'll be really ha I've I have hated not having a set schedule as much as you all have also not probably liked it <laughs> so like yeah I came here for the rambling. Could you actually not play games anymore? I could play games and ramble, but Sanabi has a shit ton of cutscenes that might be distracting. I don't know. I remember when Mina did Pokemon. Mina completely butchered her Pokemon, though. Let them die. Yeah, I want to finish the Nuzlocke, but it's just it's just a little much right now. <laughs> I probably started it at the wrong time. You know what I mean? Um. <laughs> so that's that's a shame, but like. You know, I, I've still got I, I've still got plans to to return to that at least for another stream or two if it only lasts another stream or two. We'll we'll just have to see. Like I've I've heard that when the snowball rolls down the hill, like it's tough to um it's tough to like salvage the nuzlocke, but I think it's possible. I think I can do it. Maybe I don't know. Also, hi, just Ray Dog. Welcome, welcome. Boo! Video game sucks. Good. <laughs> Boo, video games. Gross, 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 gross. Get out of here. <laughs> oh. You know, 
If, uh, been months? Hello? Has it been months? Well, welcome back. Welcome back. I appreciate seeing you around. I believe in you and your Pokemon. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Also, I don't know if I'm going to finish Penny's Big Breakaway on stream just because of the timing of all of this. I might return to it like one last time before moving, but like, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I don't generally like to start something and then like two months later, it's like, all right, let's get back to that thing. <laughs> so I might just, uh, I might kind of drop uh, Penny's Big Breakaway on stream. Very fun game though. I will pro I will definitely finish it on my own. Uh, but with that, I'll tell you what I am going to finish on stream. Sanabi. <laughs> Mina finish a game on stream challenge level impossible. I finish games on stream. I finished games before. Like uh what games have I finished on stream? Uh Little Nightmares and Little Nightmares 2. You didn't finish Xenoblade 3. I barely got into Xenoblade 3. Yeah, I, I Xenoblade 3, man, I don't know. I just, <laughs> like, and I'm playing Persona 5 Royal in my in my spare time, though very sparingly. Like, <laughs> like I sit down for, like, an hour or two with it, like, every, like, couple weeks. <laughs> so, like, you know, I'll probably beat that game by the time I'm, like, you know, 50. <laughs> You didn't even start Xenoblade 2, and I know that's your fa- I beat Xenoblade 2. I binged Xenoblade 2 to get through it. And I'm glad I did. You know what? I'm glad that I get to have an opinion, you know? Because I like having opinions. Look forward to you beating it. <laughs> no, a video game- I know, I know. I'm sorry, but I, I've got a contract with, uh... Uh, EA. I don't know. Wait, are we watching this cutscene again? Also, I ain't- What? I've been reading a very small chat this whole time. <laughs> now chat is big. Now I can read chat better. Okay. We just made it to the top of the city. So we're we're close to the end. We gotta be. Mina has- Oh, I'm very- oh, I'm a very opinionated person. And like, I recognize that. I think people who can recognize they have, uh that they're very opinionated. Probably end up less annoying than people who like are super opinionated but are just like, I'm correct. <laughs> oh, I was trying to do that. Hold on, wait. There's like a specific animation that I don't even know how it like happens. Always do the flip. Yeah, I guess so. I, I thought that there was like a specific animation where there's like a slow turn in the air. I don't know how to do it though. Anyway. Find your real life. Oh, there it is. How do I do that? That animation looks so cool. Oh. Maybe if I just like drop. Yeah. Oh, that's such a cool animation. Sorry. I'm just... I'm, I'm, <laughs> sorry. I should... I, I've got to beat the game, and I think we have to get through two entire chapters, so... It's pretty fun listening to your opinions. I would- I would hope, because I- I spout my opinions often. Like this one. Uh... Dang, hold on. Now I gotta think of an opinion that's like- Like, at least, like, moderately a hot take. Also- Oh, more cutscene. Bring this up to literally every time, but I finished my first Pokemon game and Mia asked me my favorite mod of each type and immediately told me my taste for shit. <laughs> I did it because it was funny though. That's different. Mari, did you see that? Oh, the screen tearing is rough. I need to go into the settings. Oh my god, has the game been screen tearing this whole time? A combat humanoid. Oh, look over there. Huh. A 
turret. Wow, it looks so cool. I wonder where it came from. Mister, what's wrong? That's an army. An army? Which army? There are more than one? It's the National Army. I don't recognize the weapons, but I'm sure it's them. Wait, isn't that who we're working for? Wait, 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 wait. These are tomb troops. Those are tomb troops. The army intervened in Mago City, but why? They were dispatched because of what happened in Mago City. That's impossible. Operation Zero. Oh my god, I forgot about Operation Zero. What's going on? Wait, 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 wait. Back there, there were two robots, right? Oh shit, whoa! Man, this game has such slick animations. Yeah, no more cutscene. Time for gameplay. What's going on? Thought you said it's the army. Why are they attacking us? They're robots that just fire the entire pod. They're silent bombs that attack everything in sight once they land. Why are they here? Why are they here? The royal court decided to level this city. The royal court. Boy, there's so much to keep track of. It's the only reason the tomb troops are here. Sanabi. It's Sanabi. This game looks super rad. How is it? It's pretty rad. I don't know if you've played Katana Zero, but it's very, um, it very much wears its influence on its sleeve. It's very, very Katana Zero, which is one of my favorite games of all time, which is how I, how I, you know, well, actually this one was recommended to me by, by Turris. We love Turris. This is one of my favorite games of last year. Pretty high praise after Lies of P, but the pacing, yeah, the game does have pretty rough pacing. Um, it's very slow. But eh. <laughs> it's not it's not bad. The story is interesting. So like. But yeah, you'll you'll have like a f like 15 minute cutscene, and then have like three minutes of gameplay as just happened at the start of this stream. And then there's like another big cutscene with another big lore dump. And it's like there's a lot going on. <laughs> And you spend a lot of time in cutscenes. I am reading these. I I am uh, I, I am I am paying attention to cutscene. But like they're very lengthy. They're just deciding like, what do we do about this situation? Where do we go? It's like completely different from enemies. Your tomb troops are here. That means if we don't go the other the other way, is to go completely around. We gotta go straight through it. We gotta go. There's no way. Take this. A chip. Plug it in. I promise it won't hurt you. Hurry. Oh, shit. Wait, do we get a new ability? Whoa, wait, what's going on? This is 100% ransomware. Katana Zero is badass, except I despise how the story just stops. Well, they, uh, yeah. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure they, they planned for it to be longer, but they had to get the game out. And they're, like, either making DLC or a sequel. That's definitely happening, and I will play the fuck out of it. Authorized training. Okay, what's the what's the new ability? How long have they been making that DLC at this point? I don't know, man. A long time. I... Back when I was training. Is that my daughter? <gasps> oh, daddy! Oh no! All right, all right, all right. Let let's let's be clear here. Okay. Also, spoilers for this game. Mari is our daughter, right? I mean, come on. <laughs> Has to be. I mean, come on. How is she gonna give us a chip that how? 
What is going on? <laughs> I'm here. Oh no, this is awful. Daddy. Oh no. Darling, what are you doing here? You said it's training day, right? So I came to see you. So the muscle uncle brought me here. What is happening? <laughs> She wouldn't stop talking about coming to see you, just like this. I know what you're gonna say. Things aren't looking so good up top. I'll give you a full breakdown later. Daddy, am I not supposed to be here? You got blowed up in a house. <laughs> um, well, aw. I guess we have no choice, everyone. Here is working in secret. Let's play some more later. For now, let's get out of here. No, Daddy. I'll be really quiet, please. I want to stay here, please. I want to watch you train, please. Darling. <laughs> oh, no. I promise I won't cause any more trouble. I'll be quiet, okay? Oh, my God. Fuck, I look at her. You cannot say no to her. I'll be a good girl, please. <laughs> Oh my god, look at her, she's so fucking cute. <laughs> I get so bored when you go work for the army. I don't want to play with my friends, and I'm sick of playing with Tyranno. I like playing with you the most. Oh, <laughs> I feel like the army took you from me. Colonel back. Yes, sir. Where is Major Song? She's clearing up the situation up top. What is happening right now? <laughs> go finish what go finish what she's doing. Send Major Song down here. What is happening? I the story has gotten more confusing the longer it's gone on, and I expected it to get more clear because it started confusing. <laughs> yeah. When you come when you want to come see me at work, you have to let me know in advance, okay? This is a flashback. Okay, he doesn't think that she's... dead yet. I'm sorry. If you promise me, I'll let you watch me train. Really? I'm so excited! <laughs> I promise, I promise, I promise to tell you in advance. Okay, good girl. It might be dangerous when I'm training, so I'll have to watch from over here, okay? Okay, I'll stay right here. I'm a good girl. God, she can't stand her. Oh, no. So painfully cute. Wow. Wow. Go, Daddy, go. Oh. Me seeing her get cuter in every scene. Okay, so what? what's... Oh. It's a strike training against armored weapons with heavy fortifications for your abilities in order to produce a shock that will neutralize, destroy... Show me the manual. <laughs> Let's go! Trigger charge dash. Mm -hmm. After fully charging, let go of LT to trigger a charge dash can be automatically guided to a potential target. Ooh. Okay, I think I... Is this... I'm sorry, is this a sonic homing attack? Oh, it literally is. <laughs> I love Sonic Hedgehog. Surprise, you're Sonic now. Me love Sonic Hedgehog. Me big fan of Sonic Hedgehog. Oh. Okay. <laughs> My favorite game of 20... I don't remember when Frontiers came out, but I was, I was gonna make a joke pretending that I liked Frontiers. Rolling around us. Oh god, it hurts. 
Bam. This is fun. I enjoy this. Oh, is there more? Use charge act to knock back certain objects to an opposite direction. Okay. Understood. Bam. Ooh, that's fun. Hold on. Oh no! How do I... Bam! Bam! Nice! Sonic was me as Game of the Year in 2006. <laughs> Frost, you can't do this to me. <laughs> you can't ruin me like this. How could you? I trusted you! <laughs> Man, grapple hooks are the best. If your game doesn't have a grapple hook in it, what are you even doing with your life? My brain ain't agreeing with this universe's physics. Yeah, well, my brain is agreeing with fun. <laughs> Which is what grapple hooks are. They're fun. Ow. Or are you, are you perhaps uh, talking about the way that I suspend in air? Comprehensive full look. Okay. Oh, it's another time test. Oh, I've gotten so much better at the game. I got to beat it also. There we go. Okay, here we go. Wait, what it... I'm immediately confused. Oh! I gotta knock it into the... Got it. Oh, there's more. I gotta try it at least one more time. Can't let Major Song beat me. Oh shit. Oh shit. Damn it. I'm garbage at this. Oh, it's still going. Whoops, wrong way. Why? No! Stop! <laughs> no! I'm so trash. <laughs> that one. Damn. No! It, it dodged it. No fair. Finally. Oh my god. I did be on my first playthrough, but I wouldn't recommend when you're beating the game tonight. One more, one more try. Just one more try. One more try. Unless I get close, in which case I'll be like, no, no, just one more try. Whoops, I messed up, I messed up, I messed up. No! This is hard. How would you do this? I give up. It's also just not very fun. Oh, oops. Wait. I think I fucked up. 
Okay, never mind. I gotta do it. <laughs> Whoops. All right, all right. What? Well, one more try for real this time because I, I didn't mean. I I actually meant to quit out because to be honest, this one's not very fun. I only like doing speedrun challenges if they're fun, and playing soccer in Sanabi is is. Not the most fun thing. Oh, I did it. Amazing. Look at how good I am. How did I get this good? Fuck. Damn it. <laughs> no, I hate this fucking game. I, I actually hate this. This is, I genuinely, I hope that this doesn't happen in actual gameplay because this is kind of miserable. Trying to predict where it's gonna go. It shows you an arrow, but then sometimes it doesn't, doesn't follow that arrow. Woof. That is, that is intensely not, that is the most not fun thing that the game has introduced yet. Watch it be the if it's a mechanic for a boss fight, I could live with that. It feels like it could be, maybe. You are so cool. <laughs> oh. I knew it. You're the best. You're the strongest man in the world. This major song. There she is. There's our Momodora girl. Long time to see. I missed you so much. I missed you too. Can you let me ride the plane again? Oh, that's what you really wanted, huh? Aww. I would really hate these cutscenes more if they didn't have such good animations and if they weren't so fucking charming. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her flopping up and down like a like a like a goddamn worm. I'm fly. Oh. How did that stoic dad of yours end up with such a reckless tomboy daughter like you? I know, right? She said I'm a tomboy. That's what she called me. <laughs> but what does a tomboy mean? That's what they call adorable people like you and me. Oh, that's sweet. That's right. You're so adorable. You, you think so? What an angel. Oh. Major song. Oh. While you're here, do you want to watch me train, too? Yeah, I want to see. It's dangerous. You have to stay put. Whoa. Whoa, that's amazing. Darling, be careful not to fall. This is how you use it, General. Only you would know how to do something like that. Daddy, this got stuck on the wall. It's so funny. Your daughter is so full of energy. I think I was like that when I was young. The army has turned us all into cold souls. Major Song, now can you explain what happened? How was my daughter able to get into the base? I'm at my wit's end as well. Somebody raised the barrier from the outside. The barrier? Have we been hacked? I believe so. The troops' firewall has been breached. They called an emergency, so the base defense team and tech team were both dispatched. There's never been a chaos like this. Who was the intruder? There was one person. Sanabi. It was your daughter. When I asked her how she got inside, she had entered right when hacking made the barrier go. Okay. Okay, but for real, though. <laughs> Is our daughter. <laughs> All right, here's my theory. Our daughter is Mari. And our daughter is... Okay, so our daughter is definitely Mari, because they won't say her name. 
they they will not say his daughter's name. It's definitely Mari. Also, Sanabi. <laughs> She's Sanabi. I knew it. <laughs> what a coincidence. Did you track down the culprit? What was their motive for hacking? Tech team's been working on but hasn't found them yet. But there is something strange. There's nothing that we might call a hacking motive. They didn't touch a single thing. They literally just raised a single barrier. It's almost like raising the barrier was the motive for hacking. So they infiltrated the military security system and all they did was open a door. Mm. <laughs> it's probably not good. General, I know this might sound strange. Oh, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> completely normal. That was super normal. I definitely, that was, that was, oh no. What is this? It's an overpack. An, el an electron booster. I'm asking you how you got your hands on this. I picked it up from the black market. Mari. If you're going to lie, at least make sure your story lines up. Do you really think something like this can be found on the black market? Sanabi! Don't you want to go after Sanabi? She's being so fucking weird. She's being so weird. I get that you don't understand, but sometimes, sometimes ignorance is... <laughs> Mari! <laughs> Mari! Also, my mic just peaked like crazy. <laughs> huh. Right? <laughs> I have no bad intentions, I swear. It's just that there are some complicated things I can't explain. So you can just focus on Sanabi for now. Let's just focus on our original goal. If we don't move now, it'll be too late. Let's go. You're not going to question her on this? Hold on. I got to sit down for this. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Desk is lowering. Slowly but surely, I will rise on screen. Like, like a... Like a, like, uh, like, like a, like a, um, like a, what's something that rises? Like a, like smoke from a fire. <laughs> Mina, why do you, why are you so weird about things? I don't know. Maybe because my, my brain is mashed potatoes while streaming. Whoa. Oh. Oh, got it. <laughs> I'm dumb. Oh no, not those again. No, I, I'll be better at avoiding them because I, 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 I know better how to... Like a phoenix from the ashes. There, that's more pro... Oh, there's a bus here. That's more poetic. Oh, can I push this? Bam! 
shit. Oh, this is gonna be like, this is gonna be some like platforming, huh? Oh. Okay, they don't, oh, they do return to their original positions. All right, that's a little, oh, there's a wall here. <laughs> can sometimes be kind of hard to see what, what you can and cannot grapple. Sometimes, like in the heat of the moment anyway. Bam. I didn't need the bus for that. Oh shit. Bam. So can I not... Oh, I can hook these guys. Okay. Got it. Gotta, gotta, uh, gotta homing attack the, 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 the big ones. Otherwise, we can just bam. I'm glad because doing that, like, Doing the, the hook and then jump off is very fun. I wouldn't want that to go away. Oh my gosh. Okay, you cannot do that twice in a row without hooking. <laughs> Which makes sense. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Wait. This didn't hurt me? Oh, yeah. Huh. Weird. Weird, but okay. Not 100% sure how that's working. Oh, wait, this bus. I like this for the, the puzzle potential because the that one that, like... Was it the last world with, with like, not GLaDOS? That world had some cool puzzles that I was really enjoying. That, that's probably my favorite world gameplay-wise. Ooh. Ugh. Okay. There we go. Pop. Game is about hooking, huh? Yeah, you hook on things. You all couldn't be making uh, unsay-so references, could you? No. My audience, never. Dang. Oh, wait, I can do it though. Hold on. I don't need the bus. Hook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fun. All right, I'll take this one, though. No! Ugh. Bonk. This, uh, this world's cool. I like this world so far. It's got a but. It's, like, also got the, the, like, the hook mechanic, or the, I don't know how to describe the one mechanic from world. What was that? I don't need the bus. God, I do need to stop getting shot, though. Oh, wait. Oh, there's that animation I was talking about. It happens when you, uh... When you reach the end of a... It's such a... It's such a... Such a neato little spin. I like it. Wait. <laughs> what the fuck? So it has begun. Mari, are you over there? Don't ever deactivate your cloaking until I call for you. Do you understand? Mari. I understand. What's happening? Is the... 
Okay, 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 okay. New theory, new theory. The whole Mago City thing is one big, like... Okay, I, I gotta start using those things. The, the whole Mago City is, like, one big, like, thing that was planned in order to get me killed because I'm some sort of bad thing. I just, I really hope that the story doesn't try to pull like a, like an identical twist to Katana Zero because that would be fucking lame. The game does have its own identity. It's not a Katana Zero clone, particularly in terms of gameplay, but the story despite being good is very like it's a little i don't know i don't want to say it's too similar but it's very similar i mean like i was happy about mari right because when it was the uh, when it was you know uh, him and his daughter. It had, like, the exact same vibes as, uh, as Katana Zero, but not quite as good. How are you supposed to cross that? Huh. I missed something. Some kind of bus I was supposed to use or something. Ow, god! Speaking of Katana Zero, this uh, this sniper thing is also uh, exactly ripped from Katana Zero. I know people hate compare like or okay online there are people who like if you compare any two games it's like a cardinal sin, but like. Games be inspired by other games, yo. So, like, nothing wrong with comparing things in game. Bam. Bam. Whoa, what? Oh, okay. Wait, can I? Okay. And the game admits it. It's, uh, yeah. What's mean as passive perception score? Seven. Which is low. Whoa. Bam. Whoa. Bam. Damn. I hate that I've got to get far away from that bus, or else I know I'll lock on to it. I mean, there should be some kind of lock-on aiming with the control stick, right? Oh. And maybe there is. Maybe I'm dumb. Whoa, what was that? Maybe there is, because I was close to the... Oh, can you change targets as well? Ow. Oh. Okay. A nice three to wisdom with no proficiency in it. <laughs> My god. I'm wise. I've lived, you know, hundreds of thousands of years. Maybe millions. We've gone over this, I don't really know.
Mina, so do some species of clam. Are clams wise? <laughs> yeah, but can clams do this? Answer that, Obama. My. Oh, that's the train I rode to come here. This is a train, really. I don't want to ride it. Do we have to ride the train? There's no other way. We can't enter Mago headquarters aside from the design methods. Or designated methods. And one of these methods is the freight train. This is the freight train. It's completely stopped. We can't use this. I'm sure there's another one. Let me look for it. But I don't see any railways. Didn't you say it's a train? A flying train, of course. Is there any train in the city that's operational on a normal level? I found a train that still works. Oh, but it's on the move. We have to catch up. What? What is this floating box? Don't touch that. That's a special cargo. Since it's floating, it might be in anti-theft mode. Go! Oh! And if it's not retrieved for a long enough time, it'll explode to protect their privacy. Well, thanks for letting me know so soon. <laughs> it's the anti-theft device. Everyone in this city, they're all insane. I agree. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh! Okay. New mechanic. New mechanic made from pre-existing mechanic. Me likey. Game designer brain enjoys. Oh, there's more. Wait. Can I... Oh, I can. Okay, I'm done. I was like, how do I get over there? That building got wrecked. Yeah, it did. I mean, it was a bomb. Their anti-theft measure is a bomb. <laughs> Ow, God. Hello? Oh. Uh oh. Oh. I have one hit point. Bam. I'm good at games. Can't steal something. Big. I mean, you can't argue with the facts. You can't argue with the, with, you know. Ow, I almost made it. Hello? <laughs> okay. Maybe a bug. Maybe I did something wrong. I'm not entirely sure. Bonk. I don't get why I need to do the charge bonk for those guys. Oh. Uh -uh. Bam. What, uh, what, um. Hmm. Oh, I gotta push the bus. What am I doing? Obviously, I gotta push the bus. I really do like the the moving the buses around a lot more than I thought I would. 
It's a cool mechanic. Oh. Someone's sniping me again. What the fuck? How does this work? Also, who's shooting me? Is it robots? Probably just robots. Ugh. Made it. <laughs> Bam. How do I, uh, what, huh? What? Oh, maybe... Oh, that's... That's weird. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Oh, this is a good, good level design. Oh, so what's up there? Wait a minute. There's something up here. Oh, come on. That's totally a secret. This game has a significant lack of secrets. Either that or they're really well hidden. There are so many cool secrets in Katana Zero. Like, story-altering secrets. There's one particular level I'm thinking of that's like what you can do in it is completely insane and you would never think to do it, but if you do it, it works. That kind of shit is, is super cool. And a lot of Katana Zero is like it. Every time you say Katana, my brain just stops at Katan. Or Katan? Settlers of Katan? I've always said Katan. I guess it's Katan, isn't it? I want to play Settlers of Katana Zero. <laughs> what are you doing here? The train is all the way down there. Mister? Uh-oh. Whoa. I can fall a long distance. Can you please consult me before you do anything? Oh, this is so cute. That's enough. How long are you going to keep playing that? <laughs> Mari. If you want to go back, this is your last chance. If you start flying now, you'll make it out of the city. Mister, you should stop now. I'm not your daughter. You're definitely meant to look like my daughter, though. <laughs> so let's just stop here. Can I ask you something? Did you love your daughter? What do you mean? Just like what I just asked. Yes. Okay. And you must really hate Sanabi. <laughs> You're Sanabi! <laughs> huh? I really hope you get revenge on Sanabi. <laughs> oh, oh no. Mari, did I tell you that Sanabi killed me? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh Mr. You- What? I said you're the- What? 
there's a noise on the voice. We're in a simulation. <laughs> they even... Oh, that's... They even went through the trouble of blocking this. Got it. They sure are tenacious. What do you mean? Never mind. Just forget I said anything. Oh, come the fuck on to me. Do you expect me to just forget? Are you fucking... Oh, I'm sorry. I put the fucking in there. <laughs> I'm rewriting this story like Vivzy Pop, baby. Look over there. What's that? Don't distract from the from the topic at hand. <laughs> don't... Don't... Ooh, this is a cool... Oh. Damn. Fine. The tomb troops are here, then of course that would be here too. Mari, disassemble all the train cars and scatter them. Scatter them. The firebird is here. That means this place will soon become a sea of fire. Separate all cars so they don't get destroyed. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. What even shows me where the... It even shows me where the things are. That's... That's super neato, actually. That's something even I wouldn't have thought to put in there, to be honest. Whoa! Whoa. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Oh, this thing is nuts. Wait. Bam. Nice. Ow. It makes sense, though, because it's destroying it. These are the kinds of things you add when you play test your game. Take notes from software. Ow, god damn it. I got this, I got this. Whoa! What is that? What is that? What? It oh, it's health! <laughs> well, that's. That was nice of you. Oh my gosh. Wait, there's a thing over here. Nice. This is a cool fight. This is a really cool fight. There's someone playing Sanabi. It's a Christmas miracle. I don't know why people, more people aren't playing. Well, I guess it could. No, it, this came out soon. This came out like. Didn't this come out like. November? Oh, shit. Uh. Oh, it's the cargo. Oh my god, how did that work? <laughs> what the fuck? Been following a category for a while. It's really rare to find someone who's playing it in English. Oh, oh, so. Also, two boxes just collided and kind of crushed me, but it it didn't do anything. That's that's kind of neat. I would have felt really cheated if I died there. <laughs> Game is polished as fuck. I will say. Uh. Damn it. Ah, come on. Oh. This is- oh, the music, too. Oh, man. This is a good fight. This might be the best boss fight in the whole game. Ah, oh, hell. I really like the fight against Justice, but... This is just- this is a really good fight. Come on. Ah. Oh. There we go. What's going on? Honestly, I gotta go back and play this game in legendary mode just to play it again. I definitely will. But I'm like a completionist 100% freak. Um, where like 
sometimes if a game doesn't like have good achievements, that will deter me from playing it because I just fucking I love achievements. Oh my gosh! Holy cow! I'm gonna die. Oh, I got health! Let's go! You suck! This is a very cool fight. I'm actually really impressed. At first I was just excited at the prospect of like, oh, we're on a flying cargo train fighting a giant air bomber. That's such a cool fight concept. Uh, but also the fight itself fucking rules. Bam! Oh, it's so satisfying the way the screen like flashes. Ooh! Ow, why did I hook? I always be hooking. Huh. Give me that health. No! Oh. Gimme. Nice. Are there any? Oh, there is one. Oh, I wonder if they appear when he destroys one of the things. That's kind of nutty, actually, if that's true. Ugh, damn it. Ugh. Shit. Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> I'm, I know I just keep repeating myself, but like, damn. I, I also, it's a long fight, too. Whoa. Nice. Gotta be close though, I mean. Let's go. I love this fight. Even if it drove me crazy on the hardest difficulty. Oh, I bet it does, yeah. Super impressed you beat that on your first try, really? Is it that hard? How did you even think to use that as a bomb? I'm not sure why I just realized this, mister. You were always... Were you always such a war machine? Stop changing topics, Mari. We're not done with our conversation. How do you know so much about me? Tell me. You can't figure that out yourself? I thought I told you to stop answering my questions with another question. Mari, are you... Are you working together with Sanabi? Ugh. That damn Sanabi. What? I have nothing to do with it. Tell me the truth. Do I look like I'm joking? I said we have nothing to do with each other. Then how do you know about my daughter? You better think carefully before you answer. That's going to be difficult. This train is all out of fuel. So. <laughs> she won't answer the question. <laughs> Also, why does my mic keep peeking like fucking crazy? The past few streams has been like, oh, your mic's been so quiet. Now I turned my mic up and now it's peeking like fucking crazy. Let me get a sip and a stretch. Let me also, let me also just, you know, uh, fuck with my, you know, fuck with my, uh, microphone settings midstream. I don't see anything that could go wrong there. Ugh, let me just, uh, don't mind me just fucking with my, with my compressor. You know, as you do midstream. Uh, also fuck with your outfit. Nice. Yeah, I need to, uh, let me write a little note to myself real quick. All right. 
I'll do that later today. Hello, I'm here. I'm Nina. I think the reason this game hits so right with me uh, is because my play style is perfect for this game. Just look at all the things, press the buttons at all the things, and if you aren't at terminal, at terminal velocity, clearly something is wrong. I definitely get that. <laughs> yeah, like, no, I, I'm 100% I'm with you on that. Um, I definitely prefer Katana Zero, but I will say... If I hadn't played Katana Zero, like, if I hadn't spent, oh my god, what, like, I mean, it's it's not rare for me to play a game I love over and over again. It is rare for me to speedrun a game, though, and try to go for good times. Like, I got my Katana Zero time down to, like, 25 minutes, which is insane. <laughs> I might I might be a little bit off, um, but like I got like a really respectable time in Katana Zero, at least to me. I mean, I didn't post it to the leaderboards because I wasn't recording and I didn't that's not why I was doing it. I've been spoiled on Katana Zero, but I feel like oh you should totally play it. Yeah, no, cause like I mean the story is great, don't get me wrong, but like oh, I mean the whole game is so great. Going fast is exceptionally satisfying in this, even if I can't do the speedrun stuff well. Yeah. Uh, it seems like the emergency landing system is still alive. What the fuck? Oh, right, because I was fucking with my compressor. <laughs> You're alive, thanks to me. Mari, are you still in the mood to joke around? Maybe? <laughs> I don't even know either. I... Huh? G what the fuck? What's wrong? Well... Oh shit. Mari? Are you okay? Oh god. What's wrong? What's going on? Can't you tell? Over here, this... What? <laughs> Ada, uh... Sorry, I'm just a bit seasick. I did not ask for that. Yeah, you did. Why do you lie? This is Mago headquarters. Sanavi is probably here somewhere. Let's split up and find them. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'd like to be alone for a moment. Mm. <laughs> the heck is going on? Some shit's about to be revealed. I mean, we can't go that much longer without... It's quiet. Whoa. Mari, what are you doing? I'm looking for something. There's nothing here. Are you sure Sanabi is here? Yes. You're certain? Yes. If Sanabi is really here, then my army should be too. But I don't see any soldiers. I don't even see a single human being. What happened? Mari. Oh, fucking hell. This... Mari! I trusted you when I came here. Tell me the truth. Are you absolutely sure Sanabi is here? Yes, I definitely received a signal through this building. Sanabi is here. I'm not lying. That's precisely what I'm trying to figure out. I'll let you know when I find out. <laughs> it won't let me. It won't let you ban me. That's a shame. Uh-oh. What is it? 
Uh, oh, I forgot about this. Oh my god. Attempting to sink. Failed to sink. Attempting to sink. Failed to sink. Warning, one unit of abnormal activity product found. Target model. Worker. Is it my arm? Project failed to respond. Manual shutdown required. Would you like to shut down? Approved. Terminating SOS. Whoa! This is the big reveal, huh? Air. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The, there's like a computer chip in our head hiding all of the dead bodies and blood, isn't there? Corpse, it's still warm. How did this? Oh, oh no! Rubber Raggy scoops. I think we may have zoinked this one. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. The smell of blood is overwhelming. Mari. Mari. Mari, are you okay? That's why she threw a up. Did you see these corpses? These corpses appeared out of nowhere. Come on, dude, you can't be that naive. Oh. You mean this? You see it? Oh my god! <laughs> what? It looks like the filter got turned off. What did you do? The filter, what are you talking about? Tell me what's going on. Mister. Is that what you're curious about? The filter? After all this time, what do you mean? I found out where Sanabi is. It's in the basement of the- It? It's in the basement. Sanabi, what you've been looking all over for. Isn't that all you cared about? What the fuck? What the fuck? Mari! What on earth is- Survivor detected. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what the fuck? How terribly confusing. The final resolution protocol has begun. This includes the suicide of all Mago executives. You must know what's happening in this city. But you've already known too. 
Mago Corporation is trying to destroy all evidence of high treason and making the entire city commit suicide. Royal Court finds out ten generations will be annihilated. It's much easier to just kill everyone. High treason. The personality. Your mere existence. Who are you? Me? I'm just me, Mari. But that question, shouldn't you be asking that to yourself first? Who are you? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Ooh, is this a boss fight? It's a very cool design. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Major song? What are you doing here? Long time no see. Miss. Yeah, no shit. I mean, that, that one was obvious. Why are you here? I'd like to ask you that myself. Why are you in this city? How did you get inside this strange facility that doesn't even have an entrance? That's none of your business. Now it's my turn to ask what you are doing here. Why else would I be here? Here to pick you up. The army was sent out because of me? Not exactly, I can't tell you the details, but... The nuclear power plant in the city will explode very soon. That's why the army is here. Allow me to escort you, now let's go. I'm not going. Wait, wait, please stop for a moment. Whoa! How dare you put your hand on me? Well, I guess now's the perfect time. Let's put an end to the- What is going on? Just let the mister go. Mister? Did you just call him mister? Are you role-playing or something? Please just do as I say. Being stubborn isn't going to work. Even now I use my authority to bypass all procedures to come here. Things are really serious right now. I'm so- oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! She's got a gun! Miss. What are you gonna do with that little firecracker? Let him- Oh my gosh! He needs to go to the basement. Mister. It's confusing, right? I'm sure. Nothing makes sense right now. Just remember one thing. Sanabi. Remember you're here to find Sanabi. Find Sanabi. Get your revenge. What's important is making it to the end. Our memory has been fucked with. Oh, our memory has been so fucked with. Looks like my second guess was about right. Mari. Ah. I'd better not see you again. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. 
We could probably hear what she was trying to say on the train now. Sanabi. Gonna go find Sanabi. Ugh. Uh. 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 Oh, fuck. Ow. Okay, here we go. What the fuck? Oh, really? Oh, really? Wait, really? Wait, seriously? Wait, really? Wait, 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 wait. Do I get to make a choice? Oh, this is cool. This is so cool. Oh, this is fucking neat. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Uh, how much do I trust Mari? Wait, wait what? <laughs> Here's the, mm, see, here's the thing, like, oh my gosh. I'm thinking about how they had to make, no, they didn't make separate sprites. They, they clearly have a lighting engine going on in the game. You, I saw this same kind of thing in um, uh, Momodora Moonlit Farewell, where an explosion will go off next to you and your, like, character will darken. Very cool, the way that people implement lighting and shaders into pixel art. Like, look at, look at. Yeah. Holy fuck. This is super cool, though. Not giving you all the information and, like... Having you just make a choice. Hello, Dora. I mean, uh, Momo. I mean, Major Song. Yep, I knew it wouldn't go down easily. Colonel, I'll head back once I complete my mission. Aren't you here because you missed me? Let me see. Major Song. 
You really can't recognize me. What are you talking about? You're so noisy. Whatever, I got the report about all you've done in the city. It was pretty impressive. And I honestly thought it was great. I'm into a big tough guy like you. But it's unfortunate. Advanced combat bots are targets of concern for their mere existence. Yes, I'm talking about you. You. I'm a combat bot. That much was obvious. I, I think I definitely knew that ever since... Ever since the game pretty much explicitly tells it to you halfway through, I forget, the first instance of, oh, it's the core, or whatever, where it's like, worker, one, four, seven, seven. the first time that came up, I was like, oh, okay, I got it. He, he's a robot. Like, the moment that that happened, I recognized the, the like, fields that, kid, that destroy the robots, you know? They wave it away with, oh, your arm must really be, like, a big robot part, but that that clicked with me right away. If you have something to say, you better say it properly. I don't understand a single thing you're saying. Are you listening? Hey, Tin Can, do you even understand what I'm saying? I know you saved that girl a couple times, and I'm grateful for that. Truly, I am. But that's that, and this is this. I can't just pretend I didn't see you. What you are. Why are you are with the girl? I have so many questions, but I won't ask. Because we're not supposed to be curious. Music! Oh my fucking god! I shall execute the king's orders. Oh my god, the music! Holy shit! <laughs> Oh my gosh! They went hard! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, holy shit. Oh, this is an incredible piece. Oh my... Holy shit! Okay. Alright. Okay. Got it. Yeah, I will say, this game has not been difficult in any way whatsoever, so I'm ready for this. If this boss fight takes me a few tries, I will be pleasantly surprised, because I was kind of just expecting the whole game to be kind of a cakewalk. Oh my god! Okay, she kicks my teeth in if I try to... Whoa. Ow, gosh. How do I damage her? Oh my god. Oh my god. Or... No, okay. Oh, shit. Nope. Oh, I am damaging her, I think. You, what are you? How are you fighting exactly like the general? Yes, I see. So that's what it was. I sense something was off from long ago. There's no way he would have died so easily. You must have something to do with the general's death. Forget about dying when you see death chew your limbs into a mulch and then tear your head off to see for myself. Shit, this is epic! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Whoa! Oh, that does not work anymore! Ooh, this is such a cool fight! I'm also just an absolute sucker for choirs in any piece, but like the fact that they saved this for like this specific, oh shit. Oh man, wow, okay, holy cow. 
Um. Oh, we're back to the start. You gotta do it in one perfect run. I don't even know how to damage her in the second phase. Oh, shit. I thought I would lock onto her. Oh, she's hard. Oh my gosh, okay. I love this song. I really love this song, actually. Electronic choir. <laughs> Woo! Oh shit. Oh. Whoa. Gotcha, B. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Damn, are you kidding? When can I hit you? Whoa. Was that like my one chance? Oh, gosh. Oh, this is, uh, whoa. My goodness. I feel criminal for not noticing how good this song was the first time I heard it. I'm very attentive to music in a game. Just because... I mean, there are, there are games that I... I listen to game soundtracks before I play the game from time to time. There are games that I played specifically because they had amazing soundtracks. Uh, and some of them became some of my favorite games of all time. Damn, she is hard. The first one that comes to mind ow, uh, is Bastion, which is a game that I'm not actually a huge fan of, except for one part. You know the part if you've played the game. You know exactly the one part of Bastion that makes the whole game worth playing. Yes. Yes, it's very good, and I love it. Yes. Um, ow, gosh. Okay, I gotta focus. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I listened through Bastion's soundtrack before playing it. Um, ah. I will 100% be buying this soundtrack. 1000% buying this soundtrack. I would even go as far to say that I think this soundtrack is better than Katana Zero, which is high praise because I love Katana Zero's soundtrack. Oh, come on, I wasn't close enough. Whoa, oh, come on. Oh, gosh. She's hard. Whoa. She was ready for it. There was an indicator. There was like a yellow indicator over her showing that she was ready for it. Oh, there it is again. Ow. Nope. That, that, that will always result in her throwing you. You have to... I believe... I'm, I'm experimenting for a minute because this seems really hard and I feel like there's something I'm not quite understanding. Ow! Yeah. So. Okay. I get it. A little better, at least. Oh my. She's hard, though. I do feel like there's something I'm not getting. But it seems like you can't hook her. You have to do the, uh, you, you have to do the big attack. Oh, man. Why did that... Maybe it's just a matter... It's not a matter... No, I don't think it's a matter of survival. You do deal damage to her. Oh shit, that's- oh, that's one of her biggest openings, damn it! Ugh. Yeah, no, it's, that, that checks out. Damn, oh my gosh. Major Song is now very pissed that you act like the general whom she thought was dead. Oh, come on. Warning. Shit. 
Ow. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what puts her in a defensive state where she she smacks you, but it happens. Okay, when she's Oh, she she pulls off a specific move. Oh my gosh, she's already doing that. Oh boy. This is uh is is there something I'm not getting? Like is there like a key part to this fight that I'm just not understanding? I'll just weave my way through that one. If there is, I never ended up getting it either. Okay. So it's just hard. Oh my goodness, she is really hard. Oh boy. I think I can hit her though. Okay, well. Oh, she turns. There. Yeah, you just gotta be on her. Oh, I was hoping you wouldn't, though. Oh, seriously? She has, like, no opening. Which is cool, but also, fuck. <laughs> what even the fuck? Oh. 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 Ow. I dropped her guard. I dropped her guard by holding. You just gotta watch for it. Hardest part about recapping this game is that 90% of the things you learn are tiny things that you infer. The amount of information you learn directly is very few and far between for most of the game, which is cool. No, I was expecting like, not just a big twist, but like a big explanation. Ow. Oh my gosh. Cool. Ah. Uh. Nope. Oh my gosh, sometimes she just pulls that shit out. Ugh. I don't know what the opening is. Like, I kind of do, but... Ow. I got stuck on a wall. Ow. There goes my, my health. All right, we'll just call this one. Uh, we'll just uh, we'll just we'll just give a reset to that. Oh, one of the work on should always be flying around the center of the arena, which is the most options. Make you close to okay. Nope. Oh my gosh, I don't know how that works, but it sure did. Maybe there's some other ability I have that I'm not thinking of? Oh. Come on. Oh, you're kidding. That was like perfect. She's hiding. She was hiding behind the ball. No fair. How do I... Oh my gosh, I finally avoided it, but I got hit. <laughs> so I don't know if I could call that a W. How do you avoid that move? Ah, that, that. Mm. <laughs> Hi, I've been lurking for a little bit. Seems like you've always managed to hit her when she's already in an attack animation. She always counters when she's idle. I don't know if that's the case, because I don't know this game, though. 
Thank you. Thank you, Bundle. I appreciate it. Also, hi. How are you? Fuck. Oh. Nice. I... Cool. <laughs> If it didn't take so long to charge up that move. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, that was probably. Ah. Uh, damn. Yeah, I don't know. Like. Cool. Hey, I'm living this time. You know, I've noticed something. You won't take damage from something that should normally damage you if you're moving fast enough. Oh, come on. How? That's so nuts. Ow. I don't know how I was supposed to dodge that. Cool. I'm doing better. Second phase. Oh, come on. Oh! Oh, oh she is shooting way faster. Oh, come on. Oh, I missed my... <laughs> oh! I was assuming that was a property of the charge bash, but maybe you're... I've noticed that I've moved through that ball if I'm moving fast enough. Fuck. Mm. Damn. She is just ruthless. Seriously. Oh, I... how that that move that that like pillar move how the fuck do you dodge that seriously like go yeah that big wind up that she does there that one is uh that is one of the moves you can definitely hit her through Oh, ow. Oh, it's just too close. Just barely too close to her. Whoa. Ow. Damn, I'm dead. Oh, God. One more tip. You can charge your dash even when there is a corner between the targets. Attack will just glide through the corner. That is helpful. Ow. God fucking damn it. Two seconds into the fight, and I'm. Oh. The thing that makes this so hard is just your dash takes like one entire second to charge up, and it's just. It's too much. Damn it. Shit. Maybe you can just run away from her when she does that. I'll try that next time. No! Oh, God! Oh, boy. Okay. Okay, when she does that, that, like, locks the ball onto me, she has a big ol' wind-up for that that I can take advantage of. That's nice to know. Oh, come on, I had her. Ow. <laughs> God, you gotta be kidding me. Not gonna lie, I do like when she flings you around like a ragdoll. Oh, did you see that bullet howling? Fuck. <sighs> nice. That was, oh, that was skill. That was less skill. Oh, shit. Nice. Ah, uh, I gotta, I gotta, okay. Oh, oops. I didn't mean to hook her. 
Shit. Oh my god. Oh, so hard. I don't know. I don't know. Like, this is like, this is a step up from a couple of try. I mean, everything in this game has been like pretty, like, forgettably easy. Like, I, I know that the one hit game mode is probably. I don't want to say what they designed the game around, but it's probably a lot more fun. Ow. From a difficulty perspective. Oh, uh, but this shit? I don't even know. What? <laughs> I. This. Oh, oh my god. Ow. God. So hard. I think I can still. Yeah, if you can get in between her shots in a very particular way. But you gotta get like, oh, you gotta be perfect. You, it, it's frame perfect. It, it's genuinely like ba basically frame perfect. The way that you gotta weave in between her shots in order to hit her during that. Oh, come on. No. Oh. Maybe the strategy is just like extreme patience, right? When you take a hit, just don't go after her at all. When you're on one HP, obviously. Wait for the regen. And just play the super slow long game. Oh, come on. You know, exactly what I am doing there. Definitely not diving straight into danger. I got two hits on her though. Oh, see, oh, sometimes. Sometimes if you can weave in those in between those shots in like a perfect way. I'm kind of kicking her ass right now. All right, here we go. Go. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Oh, got back off. Oh. Oh my god, I almost killed myself. Nice. Wait, what? I waited. Gotta wait more. Ow. 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 Fucking ow. She just took that thing right at me. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> oh my god. Fuck. Whoa. Hmm. I, uh... Is it too late to go back and pick Sanabi? <laughs> I, I assume this is the hard route. Like, I assume this is, like... This is, like, the harder fight between the two. But I... I... I oh, shit. Nice. Ah, oh, come on. No. Ow, I'm dumb. Nope, 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 nope. Oh. Ah. Okay. Oh, okay. Can I wait to regen here? Probably not. Oh, you can. Okay. <laughs> 
Good to know. Whoa. Tough. Oh, seriously? How are you allowed to do that in the middle of attacking? I don't understand. Oh, no. Oh, she's brutal. Oh. Oh, I had her. Are you kidding? Oh my god. I I it, it does feel like I'm missing something. Because like and maybe this is the intention. The fight does not feel fair. <laughs> like at all. Ow. Oh. I think that's why the counter doesn't kill you. What to make it a little more fair? Oh, come on. It's like she doesn't have end lag after her move. She just doesn't. She does her move and then she's out. Oh. Cool. Oh, okay. You can run from that. Got it. Okay, that's super helpful to know. I, I like kind of thought of that a while back, but I wasn't sure if that was, that was risky. <laughs> but worth it. Funnily enough, this is the fight where I realized I was accidentally on normal mode. I have no idea how it happened, but after I beat it, I realized I wasn't on veteran anymore. Wait. I'm still on back. Whoa! Well, okay. Damn it. Oh my god, impossible. So that move does get more powerful. Uh, as do all of her moves. The first phase is hard enough. I don't know. I don't know who thought it needed to be harder. Oh, I guess I'm not locking onto her from that angle. Well. Damn it. Oh my god. I, I... I don't know about this one. I really don't know about this one. Like... I... Very, very rarely in a video game do I come up against something that I'm just like, I don't think I can do this. I might... <laughs> My viewers know this. I will throw myself against something forever. Like, this genuinely almost feels like a forced loss fight. It's that impossible to hit her. Like, every time I hit her, it was just luck. <laughs> Oh, or sometimes my move doesn't go off. Amazing. Oh, are you kidding me? Nina, you are the game. Not this. Not this. I... Because oh. I don't know what I'm doing wrong at all. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm doing everything right, but still losing because it's just not meant for you to win. <laughs> Which is a very rare. F oh. Maybe there's. Maybe getting close to her is part of the issue? Maybe. 
Oh, that was some that was some Toho gameplay. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah, okay, you can hit her from a much further distance than I thought. But the lock-on mechanic is just a little bit funky. It it's a little bit um What? I thought I saw the okay. Okay. I think I'm I'm getting a little closer to maybe understanding because like definitely like what I was doing was not where it's not the way you're supposed to do the fight. Like just not at all. It can't be. It's impossible. That's what you're supposed to do. Oh, come on. The just like your lock on range is extremely inconsistent. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, you can't, and you can lock onto her through walls. Shit. Ow. I was at full health. I did that perfectly. Wow. Okay. Oh my gosh! Oh, you're kidding! Smile, thank you so much for the raid! Welcome, welcome, raiders! I'm playing, uh, let me, uh, look away. Intense spoilers for Sanabi incoming, like, big spoilers, massive, huge, big spoilers, biggest spoilers of all if you want to play Sanabi, look away. Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome, welcome, raiders! Mwah. Yeah, absolutely, raid, what are you playing? The void reigns upon her art, her heart. I own that game, but I have not played it. How was it? I would like to know. Fuck. Oh. Come on. Shit. Play it. It will be your favorite game of all time. That's that's high praise. And also probably on- what kind of game is it? I don't even know what it is. Shit. The dev showed up and hung out. That, that is super cool. Can you ask them why their game is constantly updated? <laughs> Despite the fact that I own the game, uh, it gets updated like every, like, every, like, month. And I'm always like, oh, there's that one again. Oh, it's a roguelike shmup. I love roguelikes and shmups. Ow, God. Ugh. I'm a workaholic. Are you the are you the are you the death of of the game? Hi. Oh cool. That's super awesome actually. I am also in the middle of develop of developing a shmup. Oh my gosh. She throws so many fucking bombs. <laughs> I'm so fucked. But yeah, that's super cool. Oh my oh. How close was I? I had to be. I heard you made a certain announcement. I did make a certain announcement about coming to see you. Forever. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Forever. Aw. I mean, the reason I didn't announce it is in case something went wrong and it didn't go through. But seeing as it is... Oh, oh come on. Okay, okay, okay. Also get, I'm I'm working on it. Yes. You will me and we'll get all the bunny meat she desires. Yes. 
I love Bunny. Okay, locking onto her through the floor is like, ow. That's like a big helpful strategy. Thank you for the stretch. Ugh, I need it. All right, let's do this. I'm a nice dog. I'm not living in a dog kennel. I am a proud. I am a proud succubus. Or you can sleep in bed with me. <laughs> no in between options. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I think I heard that stretch. Yeah, I need it. Who are you fighting? I'm fighting Major Song, who... I can't explain the story of this game. I don't even know what's going on yet. And no one in chat is allowed to explain it because I don't know what's going on yet. How did that work? Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, you're over here. Uh -huh. All right, I gotta back off, gotta back off. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What about us who have only seen- Oh yeah, okay, if you've only seen as much as I have, then you, you're allowed to say whatever you want. Oh, come on. No. Damn it. I I'm awful. <sighs> mm -mm. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, no, that checks out. Oh, I could have gotten right under her. Ugh. I've got to beat this. I I have to beat this. Well, come on, that's got to be the second. Piece. Okay. Cool. Major Song is a tomboy badass who's been beating me in a mercy for like an hour. So like her dreams coming true. Excuse you. Excuse you. You will beat this, Mina. Thanks. Oh, okay, sure. I don't know how I was supposed to dodge that, to be honest. Guess I'll die. Ah, uh, hell. There's my, there's my region. Oh, you're kidding. There we go. That's something. Oh, are you kidding me? <sighs> Please don't kill me for that. Oh. I don't know how I made it out of that alive. Oh. Nice. I got regen. I got regen. Oh, come on. How? You're kidding! Oh, you're kidding! Oh my god, she... Do I not get iframes off that? She threw me into a bomb! Wow! That... Wow! Wow! Oh my god! I just, I don't understand how her counter move works at all. If she uses it, she basically becomes invincible, and if you try to fuck with it, you die. <laughs> That's what it appears to me. I could be wrong, though. Maybe there's something else I can do? Ow! Ugh. 
Nice. Oh, you. Ugh, that move comes out so fast. It's like, what do you do? So rough. I think I'm good under her. Nice. Shit. I think I'm cheesing her actually. I think I found a way to get her to spawn in the position in the same position every single time. Well, that's kind of fucking lame. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. I don't want to kill her. Oh gosh. Whoa. Man, this game is so well animated. Oh. Oh my gosh. Done. Be good and stay still. Do you even know who you're mimicking? Tin like a tin can like you shouldn't dare do that. Oh, I feel bad that I cheesed that, but then like, what else do you do? <laughs> you know, Colonel. Colonel Beck. We didn't kill her, though. Don't you dare move. Unless you want to be punished. Punished? It's a weird word to put there. Colonel- Oh! Colonel, I'm almost done here. If you just give me a bit more time. We've been ordered to withdraw. The tech team has determined that an explosion is imminent. In order to clean up the mess, the royal court will descend upon us. Leave the robots and withdraw immediately. The royal court came themselves. Then does that mean... I didn't expect to see that for real before I was discharged. Of course, you've got to say that. But where is the girl? She left. She left? What do you mean? Did you just let her go? How could you do that? You know how hard I worked to bring her here. Now the royal court is here, the entire city will be evaporated. We have to hurry before it's too late. What is happening? The girl, this was her decision. Do you really think we have the right to, ch we have the right to decide what's right or wrong, really? You must respect her decision. The limiter was removed. Did they put up a fight? It was a matter of time. Looks like any other android. What's going on? This robot fights like it uses a chain arm. Its combat style is exactly like the general's. Its combat style definitely isn't common. Colonel Beck, you don't recognize me either. 
there's an encryption filter on its voice. Undo it. What? It's true. I removed it. Hey, say something. Major song. And Colonel Beck. How do you know our names? Oh! I guess the memories aren't all fake. Answer me, how do you know our names? Name, I haven't even mentioned the name yet. Isn't that right? Special task force. I have a question for you instead. What are you guys doing here? In order for Operation Zero. Is this fake too? Oh, <laughs> is this the end of the game? Daddy, do you read me? Oh no. It's so cool, there's a giant clock in the house. Is this what really happened? Yes, a giant clock, it's so cool. Did you put this here? Oh, it says something here. Sanabi. What's a Sanabi? This clock is broken, time is going backwards. What is going on? <laughs> what is happening? I'm confused. What? Oh, Dad. Daddy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did you sleep well? Me, I was just... Oh, I've got something to show you. Why am I not saying anything? What? Sir, the operation has been confirmed. Briefing will commence. This helicopter is currently flying above SNB target location. Approximately 24 hours ago. Even though the tech department has concluded that it's Sanabi situation possibility. No other news so far. You have already guessed it, but headquarters is planning to assign Sanabi to you. There are many reasons, but you're the only one who has ever met Sanabi in person. It will be very dangerous. We'll give you a day to think about it. Nothing personal, just If something goes wrong because of some B target clause, sorry, I'll come. Getting all the way to the end is not what's important. So are you saying it's too complicated? Complicated is an understatement. It's impossible to comprehend. The complexity of the autonomous thinking system is incredibly, it's because of the personality technology. I don't think we can even call this artificial intelligence. 
the general died. His personality was put in a robot and just spitballing. This is closer to it, yeah. It may be possible. So this is really the general. It's a possibility. Wake up, I want to talk to it. No, the cognitive restraining process is greatly overloaded. If anything goes wrong, the entire personality data might be reset. It's a technology that edits the information processing process. God damn, this story is complicated. <laughs> this robot is extremely refrained when it comes to information on humans. What does that mean? Quite literally, there's a filter so that they're not so that they're unable to recognize anything related to humans. This robot can't even see humans. Hear voices or even smell. They probably can't even see corpses. Right. We remember that. From the robot's perspective, it probably thinks humans were completely removed from this world. Why does the filter even exist? Uh. Then how did it talk to us just now? It might have thought we were exceptions. I'm not really sure. It's hard to know for sure. Then what do we do now? If this is really the general, then I know he can do it. He's always done the impossible. Here we are again. Dad, getting all the way to the end is not what's important. Why not? Did I not do a good job this time? No? That's not important, Daddy. It isn't like that. Wait, this is... We are on a roller coaster, chat! <laughs> this is... Oh, boy. Oh, Dad. Oh, no. Sweetie. Oh, no. This it can't be. Oh, like, I fucking knew it, by the way. Memory replay was denied. This is a dream. Obviously. From the moment we left this area at the start of the game, I was like, that wasn't real. <laughs> yeah. This isn't surprising to me at all. I completely assumed this. I didn't think it was a simulation room, but I, I assumed it must be like a, like a, a created memory. This is cool though. This is neato. Ooh. I really dig this track too. Ooh. Record one meeting. Oh. Oh, we're, we're getting it now. I know I've said that a lot of times, but why isn't anyone saying something? Director, before taking this project, we need you to promise us something. Is there a way for you to guarantee our safety? Chief Researcher, I feel a little uncomfortable to hear what you're saying. Is that Mari? I think you're misunderstanding something. I'm not offering a proposal here. None of you have any choice here. If you refuse, everyone will die right here. 
this project fails, everyone will die. If we are caught by the royal court, everyone will die, most definitely. Then what will we get in return? Everything. Oh, don't look at me like that. This project is what Mago Corporation wanted for a very long time. The future of Mago Corporation depends on it. And you are Mago Corporation. Do you understand? If you succeed, you will gain everything, but if you fail, you will lose it all. So you must complete this project. I see, then let me ask you one last thing. The army's personality data, where did it come from? Fallen soldiers? Oh, this track does go hard. That is all. Do you have any questions? Why do we have to do this? Why do you insist on it? It's inefficient. And I especially dislike the desire for revenge. I also find it offensive that artificial intelligence has emotions. Can't you just give a direct order to the project, Professor? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, ha, ha. I, so, okay. <laughs> well, I forgot it's your first time seeing a report on this project. This project isn't about artificial intelligence. These are artificial personalities made through the datification of human personalities. It consists of data, but works the same way as a human mind. Countless data units for... Just like how you can't control the human mind to give detailed orders, the same goes for this project. Orders have to be given in a somewhat indirect way. See, but if this was all planned to, like, give me... So... Mm, there's Mari, by the way. Gotta be, right? Off to the right there? I don't know, maybe. Uh, so, like, listen, okay... If the goal was just to kill Sanabi, why do the government not know about this if they're the one doing the project? Or they're not. Mago Corporation is the one doing the project. Wait, I think I get it. Mago Corporation is the one who, who like, took the general's personality, plugged it into a worker robot, the reason that the government don't know about this is because they're not involved at all. The government, the reason that we've been having scenes with the government is because like those are our memories. But they don't actually know us, they knew the general. It's not that we hadn't tried, we also had some failed prototypes. Oh I know, you mean the one the commercial district used to send on errands. What was their name? It was such a cheesy name. Oh I don't know. Justice? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, I, oh. <laughs> oh no. Right, Justice. Justice ended up being a failure when we tried to directly control its personality. What a shame I had my eye on that one. Who owns it now? It's a biological robot, so probably Mako Electronics. It's mine. It's very useful hunting dog. Anyway, yes, I understand, Professor. So that's the gist of the project. A combat character that is controlled through their desire for revenge. There's no better motivation for powerful and destructive behaviors than hatred. Oh, no! <laughs> Not good! <laughs> Daddy? Are you okay? Where's mommy? 
Ha. The terrorist attack was caused by some extreme rage in the project, but it did not lead to extreme revenge. The desire for revenge towards the culprit of the terrorist attack was only temporary. Even after repeated simulations, the project quickly calms down and gives up on getting revenge. The fact that the project is someone with a strong mind is turning out to be an obstacle. Who is the one being sacrificed in this bombing? The project's... The wife. And then it seems like the project's daughter serves as their mental support. If you have a child to take care of, you have no choice but to stay strong no matter what happens. Then should we control them with another emotion instead of desire for revenge? No, we will want to achieve is an assassination machine that moves, or I'm sorry, a assassination machine that moves blindly. There's no emotion that pushes to someone their limit better than revenge. Senior assistant, I have an idea. What if we change the target of the terrorist attack to his daughter? Make her become the victim. Do you mean to switch the project onto a father who's lost his child? But it's impossible to alter their memories without our setting aside the ethical issues for later. <laughs> setting aside the ethical issues for later, there's a good chance the project will know something is wrong with their memory. Yes, it's impossible to alter their memories for that reason. What if we limit their memories and cleverly change the order of events? Can't we just skew their perception, justice? Just like how we trap that pitiful hero inside the illusion of chasing down his villain. <laughs> Not good! <laughs> This track goes so hard, by the way. Oh. Ah, oh, look at this fella. How rude, you think this is your house? Changing the person who dies from the wife to the daughter was a successful attempt. In most cases, the project's rate of giving up on revenge dropped drastically. Then what happens to the memories with his wife? There will be some contradictions in his memory. Blind rage from the loss of his daughter. This powerful emotion seems to make him forget all the incongruities. As he gets emotional, the details don't seem to matter. Didn't realize how brutal our research team was. Terrifying and clever. I like it. Forget useless, <laughs> useless ethics and morals and keep it up. So there is one critical issue. It's Sanabi. What's that, huh? What are you talking about? It's impossible to confirm. Sanabi is a concept that's deeply rooted in the project's character for some unknown reason. It seems to work as a sort of illusion. For... That you don't need to make it to the end.
Oh, no. Not good. Why can't I platform right now? <laughs> Help, I forgot how to play platformers. My favorite genre. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> I was close. <laughs> so, hmm. <laughs> Damn it. Narrative twist has deleted the performing brain. Yeah, but it's also a new mechanic, but. Whoop. This time I got it. Check this out. Fuck, are you kidding? <laughs> what was that? Oh, come on. <laughs> Why is why am I having so much trouble with this? Huh? Oh, there's Well, that would have been good to know. <laughs> whoa, what's Oh. We're looking like we're looking like uh Super Paper Mario over here right now. What's going on? <laughs> Crazy how they got chapter six of Celeste in this game. Wild stuff. I told you not to bother me. You're being monitored by headquarters. It's not the military's job to maintain a Okay, 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 okay. So this memory. This is the colonel's memory. So basically all the mem everything, the whole early bit of the game was just a bunch of jumbled cutscenes made to trick me into thinking that my daughter died. So I went back to the military to go kill some guys to get revenge. And then the military was like, we found Sanabi, go get him. But this all happened in totally different orders and some of it was totally fucking fabricated I was the only one who ordered Operation Zero I'll be the only one to take responsibility it's an excessively strong order just to wipe out a criminal organization especially if it's for revenge my wife just died because of your negligence. You have no right to tell me what to do. Urgent meeting. We failed again. We failed to control him because of Sanabi yet again. This is driving me mad. Do you hear anything from research team three? No, there was nothing. I don't even have a clue after over a year of digging into this character. We know for certain that Sanabi exists only in the subconscious mind. Sanabi's not real. <laughs> the subconscious is an extension of memory. Illusion is powerful enough to make someone give up on revenge simply can't exist without any memories. Tell them if they don't find a clue within a month, the team will be dissolved. There's a new report from Team 7. I think you should check it out. They say they found something strange in the project's memory. Basically, the details regarding the wife... Regarding the wife's death have disappeared from the memory of the project. Are you kidding me? We concluded it was a stress-induced memory loss. Don't you remember cross-checking it? That's not it, Chief. Team 7 checked by expanding the observation range to the memory before the stressful situation. 
only the wife's memory has abnormally disappeared. The pattern of the memory loss is completely different from that of dissociative memory loss. It's more like someone purposefully carved out those memories for some reason. Stability of the personality. Could it be? Yes, from the beginning of the production process, this project was created with the wife's memories erased. How? Wait, then. Sanabi is a concept formed from a deleted memory. It's quite likely. About to lose my mind. In the memories they chose to remove. Sanabi. It's not okay to make it to the end. It seems as if someone is stopping us from completing this project. Who was the one that developed this personality data? The project's... My daughter, not my daughter. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> oh, it's one big fucking mystery. Who would know? I don't know. Ooh. I hate this game. <laughs> Mago Corporation put out an ongoing search for the past few years, but I heard she completely disappeared. Fine, if it's a genius who can build such an elaborate personality data, I'm sure they've figured out what's going on. At the near age of eight at that. Mari. Why did you erase your mother's memory? Hook? I fucking knew it too. I mean, I, it was obvious, right? By the time chapter four hits and there's that scene where... Oh, where... He literally says, like, Mari, I'm not your dad. And she just, like, breaks down. It's like, it's obvious at that point, right? I love the platforming in this game, by the way. It's because of my daughter, Mari. Bring me the cleansing chip. General, about what happened with your wife. It's okay. There was nothing we could do. It was my fault for realizing that too late. I'm the one Mari has left in the world. And Mari is all I have left. So everything is okay now. Is that Mari? Do you really think it'll work? Wouldn't it be safer just to remove Sanabi, do whatever it takes? Sanabi is an illusion that is deeply rooted in the project's subconscious mind. It's rare to find a concept that has this much influence on someone's character. The will to live, the purpose to live, the symbol of life. In other words, it's a concept that plays an extremely important role in developing the character. If we remove this pivotal concept, the character itself will collapse. Then fine, what if we distort the memories to make them forget their Sanabi? Just like what you did. A person's subconscious mind doesn't work that way. If you tell them not to think about an elephant, they'll inevitably think about an elephant. So is this what you think? You want to turn Sanabi into the target of revenge. Make the culprit of the terrorist act that killed his daughter into a hypothetical terrorist group called Sanabi. This will weaken the illusion of Sanabi. I'll be honest, I don't fully understand this. It sounds like since there's no way to eliminate the bomb, you just want to detonate the bomb instead. Like we saw in the past, the sense of incongruity is fatal to the stability of the character. So we were told it's impossible to alter his memory. What makes you sure the project won't feel a sense of incongruity towards a hypothetical entity called Sanabi? Blind hatred. The powerful nature of hatred. It makes you blind with rage. For several years, as we meticulously edited the project's memories, We've modified the character so that his feelings of hatred are amplified. We were able to drastically reduce the clarity of memories that 
that are irrelevant to revenge, while altering memories of his daughter even more vividly. As a result, the project is currently consumed with an abnormal sense of blind hatred. They seem to have no other interest aside from getting revenge. And they don't even know what Sanabi is. This is a bit of a like meta, like because I'm the player, I'm going to chase after Sanabi because it's a video game and that's what I've been told to do type beat. We got a little bit of like, a little bit of a, a little bit of meta game energy going on here. Just a little bit, just, just, just as a, as a treat. What the fuck? Well, I gotta do the swingies, I think. Huh. Up. Nice. So Sanabi was an elephant. All along? Oh, no! I got it. This time. I wish more of this kind of super tight kind of platforming was in the game. Because this is cool as hell. Oh. Retiring. Should I have a little... Wait, this isn't the dialogue we saw. It was adjusted. Okay, I see, I see, I see. I want to see a little Mari. <laughs> Mari, isn't she a genius? I mean, she hacked the military base at the age of eight simply because she wanted to see her dad. Do you see the official documentation that came in? Final resolution protocol. So if you filter out all the com complicated jargon, isn't it saying the city will be destroyed if the project gets leaked to the public? Oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. That's not all. There's a new product that released by Mago Electronics. The worker. Did you see it? It's a worker android they're going to distribute through the city. And did you see one of its arms has a wire arm? It's exactly the same as the chain arm that's used by the project. I hear they mass produce over a thousand of these workers. At that scale, it's enough. I think we know what this means. Are we going to be okay? This project, it just feels wrong. If they integrate the project's personality data into these workers, MAGA's public security unit certainly has more than enough firepower. They're building an army of this sort. Is Mago Corporation planning on... Oh. oh no. This project must be a success if we want to live. Just focus on that. So that's how everyone in the city got wiped out. Huh. Why was Mari there in the city to begin with, huh? Oh, fuck. Oh, no. No. Don't hurt me like this game. 
You can't do this to me. Oh, here we go. Daddy, do you read me? Loud and clear. Dad, 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 it's amazing. There's something really cool in the house. Something cool. Totally, anyway, it's really fascinating. I don't recall seeing anything like that. No, you should come check it out for yourself. We saw this memory. We saw this memory. Daddy, happy birthday. Oh my God. They made Mari's surprise birthday party for her dad into her tragic, like blowing up. Oh my God. That's so awful. <laughs> Jesus. This is long, by the way. <laughs> Director Choi, what brings you to the research building? Cognitive filter, what is this, Professor? So you've read the report. It's a kind of mental stabilizer that works on the project. It's a filter that makes the project unable to proceed. Oh, human beings. What about Mari? That was written in the report. Explain what it stabilizes. Not successful waking up less so oh well welcome in welcome in zodiac hope you i hope you slept well uh we uh we found out what sanabi is there are two main objectives in the cognitive filter first is the objective of creating an inexplicable situation where all the people have disappeared due to sanabi it creates an incomprehensible, huge absurdity, the disappearance of people, thereby making the large and small inconsistencies surrounding the project feel less important. Second, it's the restriction of information. The project is basically controlled by... Because Mari hacked him. Obviously, that's why... She can... Right? So if someone tries to connect this disordered information, the stability of the project will be shaken to its core. But if the project can't perceive humans... It can significantly reduce that risk. The project can work in a more controlled environment. There are a few non-filtered people in that cognitive filter. Why is that? Sounds like you're talking about the exceptions. They're the key figures that make up this personality's vengeance. Oh. Oh, boy. Think of it as the memory of the project designed to get revenge as the main character that creates the situation. Professor, don't you remember what... Chairman Kim asked for, there can't be any vulnerabilities in this project. What if the project meets those people while conducting operation? Meeting one of these five or so exceptions in this vast world is... Director. It converges to zero probability. Oops! Because <laughs> I met like three of them. <laughs> Well, no, that's after I turned the filter off. Never mind. It's an uncontrollable underlying uncertainty. In other words, it'd take a miracle. Or a genius. You better hope it doesn't become a problem, Professor. You better hope that Mari doesn't outsmart you, Professor. Damn, Mari is the hero of this fucking story, by the way. She did all of this. Well, actually, I don't even know why yet. Because why did she keep saying, go get Sanabi, right? Like, she must know Sanabi isn't real. Or was she just trying to save her dad? Oh. Oh, boy. You know, Mari, you've always been a miracle child. Did I ever tell you that? Oh, here it comes. Back up X completion report. This is the summary of the project. It's a combat character whose goal is to completely destroy a hypothetical entity called Sanabi. Sanabi is an abstract concept that includes individuals, organizations, and objects. As requested, it can be implemented dynamically in most situations. The advantage of this project is that it operates based on a personal hatred that was developed through memory. 
It blindly completes tasks, even those that involve self-destruction based on the single purpose of getting revenge. Even if the project is at the brink of death, they show no signs of fear or hesitation. This project was based on the character of a veteran soldier. In other words, it does not come with the rigidity of combat AIs, which is their biggest disadvantage. Thanks to their years of experience on the battlefield, they are able to make decisions and act dynamically. It is a complete battle software that can be controlled and mass produced. That concludes our final report of the Sanabi Report. Wonderful, wonderful. That was brilliant, Professor. It was brilliant and perfect. Professor, your 10 years of hard work did not go to waste. Yeah, and that checks out because they said Mari was eight, so she'd be about 16, 18 by now. I have something I want to introduce to you. The head of the security team at our headquarters. They're very good at their job. I guess it's a pleasure to meet you. Why are you introducing me? <gasps> what about the other research team? I've gotten rid of every single one of them. Inspect all the personal servers of the research team and check if anything related to the project was leaked. If anyone finds out about the project, eliminate those people immediately. Oh no! <laughs> Even in the smallest chance might turn up. Oh, she saw the project data. <gasps> oh my god, in Mari's flashback, you're right! Even the slightest chance turns me a big risk. Be thorough about it. President Kim, how is the worker production going along? Everything is on schedule. We've been advertising it to the media as a multi-purpose labor robot to avoid coming under royal court's radar. We're distributing them as city workers around the commercial district. We've distributed. How many? So that they can be integrated into the Sanabi at any time. Finally. We're finally at the finish line. It's been 50 years since Mago Corporation was founded. In only half a century, Mago Corporation revived a collapsing nation. The royal family has only served themselves for many centuries. They are not worthy to rule over this great country. We'll bring them down and take the throne. So similar to uh, Katana Zero, then. <laughs> but definitely the same kind of themes, different story. Oh, fun fact. Apparently this line is mistranslated. It's not we are finally at the finish line. It's supposed to be we are finally at the starting line. Oh. Mari, no matter what happens, I'll, oh no, get you to the top level. Oh no. What now? What now? Well. Back. Major song. <clears throat> Whoa. why I could play the harmonica. <laughs> I see. 
Okay. So that's what happened. We are owls that never cry. And tigers that don't leave footprints. Am I dead? How long has it been since I died? Ten years. Right. How are things right now? The central nuclear power plant will explode in this city. The royal court is currently in the skies of Mago City after figuring out what happened. They will be using it. still in the city. Thought I'd never live to see the day. I suppose you didn't. How much time do we have until it activates? It's hard to tell, but it's been quite a while since it started charging, so we don't have much time. I see. Where is Mari? Wait, wait. What are you two talking about? The last signal came from... He gone mad. The general has returned after ten years. You want to send him into the city? Major Song. Surely you know what that is, don't you? The entire city will disappear. Literally. The Royal Corps is about to use that thing because they want to get rid of the city before the nuclear explosion even happens. As well as the general. Are you trying to die again after you just came back to life? After you were murdered, I haven't had a single good night's sleep. I made a promise long ago with my daughter, Mari. I have to keep my promise. The royal court is watching. Do you intend to refuse the royal command? Colonel Beck, that's treason. Everyone here will die. You better choose wisely now. You are the commander. Open the hatch. Holy shit. Oh my gosh, General. Britta Berry, thanks so much for the follow. Mwah. I really appreciate it. Oh, oh, the hat. Let's go. Oh, they have. Wait. Oh. The tiger. Oh, no. We've gotten rusty. Tension? Oh. Arnold Beck. What happened with my wife? I know there was nothing that could have been done. I want you to forget about it. And Major Song? Your punches are weak. You have to work out harder. I wish we could catch up, but we're so short on time. It was nice seeing you both again. Oh no. Please take care of Mari. Oh my god. Oh, 
Oh, man. Wait, is there more gameplay after this? There's gotta be, right? Whoa. Here we go. Oh, they, oh my gosh. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna make sure I finish the game here. There is no fucking way I could quit right now. <laughs> oh, we just finished that chapter, guys. All right, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> I know what we're seeing on this end. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. This is so neato. I'm too invested now to sleep. I need to find out how it ends. And stream in the middle of this cutscene resume next time. Whoa. Are we doing a Celeste? Are we gonna like... Reclimb- wait, no. Wait, what? Oh. Cool! The limiter has been released. Opposites. The limiter has been released. Oh. Nice. Music is popping off. They've really saved all the best music for the end of the game, huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I'm so, oh, this is hype. So are we doing, are we doing like a Celeste right now? Whoa, oh my God, finally. <laughs> I hated having to charge up that move. I genuinely fucking hated it. Oh. Yeah, this is fucking cool. I don't even... I don't... I, this game is so, like, inspired, and I mean that, like, in a very literal sense. <laughs> but I really don't care. Ooh, that was a fun bug. We may, in fact, be doing a Celeste. I am, I am fucking down for it. Because when Celeste did it, it was fucking awesome and made me cry, like, a lot. <laughs> so, you know what? It's okay to rip off games that are good. Man, this game is fun. <laughs> Ah, come on, I did the thing. Wait, what, what, what was that? Wait, 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 wait. Are they still alive? Are the workers down here still alive? I guess that makes sense though, doesn't it? And they're afraid of me because they know I'm a war machine. Also, remember when like we got to play as the androids and I was like, I actually prefer the animation for the the uh, the hook, the way that it like you shoot it out and you see how it shows slack and then it tightens. Well, now I get to now I get to use it again.
This is rad. This is so rad. This is so cool. Ah, oh, I bet I suck at times, man. I was also reading chat. You all had some fun things to say. I wish more people knew about this game. Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised it's flown under the radar. I really, I really am. Crazy takes. Sanabi is a really good video game. I don't think that's a crazy take. I do think I would be like absolutely blown away if I hadn't played Katana Zero first and been a huge fan of it. Because of that, I can see like how, like how very similar it is tonally, uh, story-wise, very similar. But the gameplay is very much its own. It may be a room full of enemies now find the most satisfying way to kill them all type game, but like, hey, that's one of my favorite genres. <laughs> so, you really need a, I need a better name for that, for that genre. It's your ghost runners. It's your, uh, it's your, uh... There's a lot of games back on Xbox 360 that was the genre of room full of enemies now find the most satisfying way to kill all of them. Shit. Shit. Game hard. The score is going oh yeah. Arena Fighter. That's a good name. Is that is that like the actual genre name? My mother died when I was still no. If I try to remember anything about my mother. The memories always end in a loud bang. Nothing. Nina, what would you do if you got to speak with your great, 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 great caveman ancestor? Let's say they know how to speak and comprehend modern English for a day. Arena Fighter is usually what they call those 3D anime fighter games, though. Yeah, that's true. Uh, what would I say to... Hold on. I will answer your question after cutscene. My mother disappeared in a giant explosion that seemed to make the entire earth rumble. My memories from that day were still a bit hazy, but I still remember my father vividly. The somewhat uncomfortable and awkward smile that he made for me. Unfocused eyes that seemed to be looking far away. Wounds that grew day by day. I was young at the time, but I could clearly see that my dad was different. The fact that we moved to a bleak house to prepare for a second retaliation, and the fact that my father destroyed dozens of terrorist-related criminal organizations all by himself. I learned all that later. My father changed after the incident, even as he tried to be nice to me. All of his actions were a bit off, like a broken man. My kind and warm dad, who had always sincerely loved playing with me, disappeared overnight. I was still a kid, but I understood right away that my father would never be the same. On a particular sleepless night, I saw him silently crying. It was a dark, moonless night. That's when I felt sorry for my dad for the first time. Could I save him? That day, I decided to try what I could. Oh. What would I say to my to my my K 
caveman ancestors. I would want I would want to know their reaction. Okay, well, okay, caveman. I've always kind of thought about like like someone from like the 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 1400s or something. If I could meet someone from the 1400s, what I would really want to do, because uh, I think it would be really interesting, I want to play some modern music for them and see what they think. I'd be really curious to know what they'd think about modern music. A few different genres, a few different styles, some different artists. My caveman ancestors, though. I just want to like put a smartphone in their hands and be like, look at this. And they'd be like, this is magic. And I'd be like, this is made of rocks. It's just really fancy rocks. And they would be like, what the fuck? <laughs> This world's got some sick music. <laughs> I can't even. Station one music has changed a lot. Uh I feel like if you explained the fancy rocks enough, they'd not understand it per se, but they'd get the general concept. I don't know if they would get the general... Well... I mean, I guess they would They would get the general concept. If you, like, explain the world to them, like, how the world is, the modern world, they would probably get some stuff. But like, I guess the go-to thing for people would just be like, tell them about some science stuff. Like, did you know this is why it rains? And they'd be like, huh, I thought it was because, uh, ow, fuck my life. Uh, I thought it was because the gods were angry that I haven't killed a virgin today. Me and the boys at 3 a.m. looking for beans. <laughs> Fuck. Up. Bam. We're making it to the end. Ow. I still suck at not hitting things. Explaining natural laws would be a fun answer and would either get you revered. Yeah, I always thought, like, if you came back with, like, a smartphone and stuff and, like, a gun, they would be like, oh, you're, like, a god. Yeah. What if you gave your ancestor modern food? They must like it. It would be insane to eat a regular cheeseburger. I don't know what they would like if they would like it. They, would they wouldn't be able to eat the entire cheeseburger, though, because they don't eat that much. Or no. No, that's not true. It's just that modern... What's the reason that, like, cavemen used to be able to survive a week on, like, a single piece of meat? What's, like, the reason for that? Because the meat was more, like, nutrient-rich? I don't know. Since childhood, in one corner of my house, there's always been mint large and complex computers military equipment for my dad implanted with electronic aids for brain activity From the time i started getting tired of playing with dynaro i began to frequent that room thick dusty manual and vast knowledge that can be found with a simple search the language of machines that controls the worlds of logic to its heart content heart's content it didn't take long before programming became my new pastime that's right, I was talented in the world of zeros and ones, unfortunately. The moment I decided to use that talent for my dad, the world began to tilt in the wrong direction. 
What I was trying to do at the age of eight was to convert my dad's personality into data. No, she didn't. She didn't. She did not. She didn't. No. My reasons were pure. I just didn't want him to suffer. Mom's death, if that memory was the cause of my dad's distress, I thought I could just remove the cause. Oh, no. In the personality data, memories were just like any other file. Files that could be written and deleted at will. Some biology me, your stomach shrinks if you haven't eaten for a long time, so eating a little. Yeah, I know that. I know that because I did that for a while uh, when I was living on my own for the first time. Because I'm frugal and uh, money. Food costs money. If I could erase the memories of my mother from my father's personality data. Just as the rotten part of the apple gets cut out, I believe my dad's suffering would be cured, too. She is the one. That doesn't sound good. It is not. No, it really wasn't very good. <laughs> Mina, please say. <laughs> don't. You don't have to worry so much. I'm okay. <laughs> don't, don't worry about me. <laughs> it was a long time ago. I guess it wasn't that long ago. It was a while ago. <laughs> now I can say for sure. Innocence is a crime. Oh, no. A regular airdrop. No! <laughs> no. I mean, maybe, but listen. I'm good at- I'm- I'm great. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, kick it, right. Listen, I'm good at eating regularly. Particularly if it's bunnies. Okay. The music. Oh, the music, man. <laughs> there is, like, a thing, um, that you can... I don't know what it's called, though, because I've never been, um... Ah, uh, like, so I've got... Actually, Lulu was, uh... Ow. Lulu was here earlier. Uh, so, like, uh, Vix, Lulu, and, uh, and Brady all have, like, a a thing. It's like a Twitch integration where you can just like buy them food and they can just like eat food on stream. I've been like, man, if I did eat on stream, like, I don't think I've ever eaten on stream before, but like, if I did, oh, I would, I would absolutely try that. I had to step out for a moment. Did I return to see a bunch of comments about feeding me and what happened? Chat's just getting overly worried. I would give you more details about this to assuage your worries, uh, but that would require me to talk about some very personal things that I'm not going to talk about. So you're just gonna have to trust me and deal with it. <laughs> I take plenty good care of myself. Ugh. Wait, oh. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, I see. 
Oh wait, I can go here. I saw this earlier. Ow, god. I still hate these things. is such a good game. <laughs> this was before bro online broadcast. She couldn't have known. <laughs> Mia cannot be trusted under any circumstances. Do not trust this woman. That's true, though. That, that, that bit is true. I mean, I'm a succubus. My whole shit is that I trick you. <laughs> and take all of your life. It's like the whole point. Duh. I'm the bad guy. Duh. It goes without saying, but digitizing a personality wasn't an easy feat. I had to replace incomplete and difficult to control brain activities such as personality, memory, and emotion with data. Obviously, it's more in the realm of impossibility rather than possibility. But I had the talent, and I had the passion. When I was wandering through a bunch of complex data that seemed like a code from the gods, I used that to feel the urge to just give up on everything. Mm. I joyfully interpreted his memory module day by day and analyzed the thought process, believing that this could be a fantastic gift to magically cure his pain. My father's expression when he first saw the, comp the complete personality model, I still remember it clearly ten years to this day. That day was the first time I saw my father in a fiery rage. My father's voice shook as he pressed me about what I did wrong. He said personally that personality data is a class 1 violation tech that is strictly prohibited by the royal court. He said class 1 violation tech is so dangerous that it's punished as high treason even for merely researching it. He said if the royal court found out what I made, something irrevocable would happen. I didn't understand anything my father said at the time. But I could gather that something was terribly wrong. He left me terrified and immediately destroyed the personality data I had created. Then, gunmen armed with heavy weapons entered the- Oh no. Stinging smell of gunpowder, the sound of shots and explosions. Father couldn't arm himself in time and was killed trying to protect me. No! <laughs> It was years later that I realized my computer had a back door installed. Innocence is a sin. An ungovernable talent is a curse. When those two meet, life becomes hell. Holy shit. Whoa. Whoa, that was cool. Huh? Did I fall? What happened? Whoop. You fall. Okay. I accept this fall. No one can stop me. Oh. Right, I gotta- oh. I gotta hold. Oh, they're following me. Ow. Okay. Ow. 
Jeez, I can't. Oh, God. Can you not, uh, I thought you could just hook onto the justice robots, but apparently not. Nope, you can't. I was doing it earlier, though. Weird. Wing with, whoa. Get my wings out and get my water. I'm more stoppable than previously anticipated. True. But now I'm unstopped. Alright, I really gotta I just gotta stop talking, man. Hup. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, okay? It's fun to be cocky until I fail. <laughs> That's content, baby. Whoa. Whoa. Woo! Man, this oh this is so good. Why'd they save all the best level design in the game for the very end? Ow. Oh no. Shit. Quit spawning. Can I get... Whoa! How do I... Oh. Oh god. I tried. <laughs> Oh, wow, that was that was clipped by so many. <laughs> wow, incredible! All right, all right, all right. Let's do this. I'm curious. Oh my gosh! Why? So obviously, now that I have all the information, I made the right choice, right? But, like, I do gotta wonder, if you go after Sanabi... Do you not get the... Do you, do you just have to, like... Is it just, like, a uh -uh, wrong choice? Or does the ending actually, like, full... Does this full ending happen, but just plays out a different way? Don't break. <gasps> Thank God. That was a tough room. There's an achievement for it, so you'll find out. Wow. I'm insulted. You know what? That you would just assume that I would go and get every achievement for this game that I've played. You don't know that. You don't know that I'm going to do that. How would you know that I do that? That's not something I would ever do. I haven't been a PC gamer for only a year and have a profile with, what is it, 48 perfect games? That, that would never be me. I would never have two separate playthroughs of Stardew Valley going on right now because I need to uh, destroy the town in one of them in order to get all of the achievements. I, that's not something I would do. I would, I would, that's, that's, that's silly. That would be a silly thing for me to do. And that's why I would, why I would, man, <laughs> damn it. I mean, I would never, I would never. Oh boy. It was a premeditated murder of a soldier. The attackers disappeared with dexterity, but they couldn't escape the furious military police investigation. Soon after, the attackers were found in an old warehouse by a shabby pier. As cold, dead bodies. The only information we could get from the corpses was that the attacker was killed shortly after the incident. All personality... Personally identifiable parts have been removed from their bodies. 
Speaking about Stardew, a new update, 1.6 is coming out in two or three weeks. You have to start a new game. It doesn't seem like there's that much, though. Thorough and skilled clue removal hide their existence. There wasn't a single clue left. With a vague conclusion that it was a revenge... It was a revenge murder by a criminal organization. The investigation fizzled out. But not for me. Only I knew the real purpose of the attackers. The day my father was killed, there was only one thing that disappeared from our house. The computer hard disk with my father's personality tape. So that's why they picked him. I killed my father. I felt like a part of my mind completely snapped. So that's how you were able to hack me. Whoa! Whoa, that's really well animated too. Oh, okay. This game is beautiful. Seriously. And just like the base game, this is absolutely the best chapter. <laughs> so far, at least. In this ending sequence, I mean. I, this right here, this is what I wish the whole game was. It's like super speedy, high per, like, speedy but precise platforming, like. Ooh, that was just barely. That one was t a tight window. Every day it was a continuation of hell. The use of a 3D model in the background here gives it seriously- Yeah. There's only one thing I want every day when I open my eyes. That this was all a dream. It was the thought of revenge that made me endure my debilitating regret. Revenge of those who killed my father. Margot Group. I went off the grid and became a hacker. Paradoxically, the talent that killed my father also led me to find him. I used my powers to the fullest, wandering around the network like a madman in search of any trace of him. I'm not sure exactly how many years passed. And the madness and obsession became chronic. I eventually found a clue about the criminals. in a top-secret project of the Mago Group. Mago Group. The largest, com the largest company in the country in name, in name and reality, and a huge conglomerate that owns an entire city. Along with a fierce hatred, a question rose. They had little to gain and lots to lose, yet they stole the personality digitalization tech. For what? 
That's when I started looking into Mago Group. You definitely did this section way faster than I did. <clears throat> uh. Oh. Don't count me. Don't count me yet. I might still fuck up. Oh. Damn. Oh shit. Honestly, the game, I, I know it only lasts. You only have it like that for a very small portion of the game. But, uh, that charge kick thing is the worst. <laughs> it feels horrible to use, and finally having it just like, oh, you can just do a kick. You can just do a homing attack kick thing. Oh my god, it's so much better. <laughs> it's so much better. I... I mean, the fight with... Oh, I see. Or maybe I don't. Well, I see, but I cannot do it because I- fuck. The fight with Major Song, if you had had this, would have been a tough but but much more fair fight, and I wouldn't have had to cheese her. Damn it. No, but this section does rule, though, doesn't it? <laughs> it's really good. And I've been yearning this entire time for, like, some real fucking gameplay. And I feel like this ending sequence is the first, like, time that the game has actually capitalized on the fact that it's like, oh, yes, gameplay. Oh, me love gameplay, you know? The public image of Mago Group is that of a solid conglomerate with overwhelming influence in most areas of the country. There was a time when I certainly thought so, too. However, when I peeled back a single layer, the inside of the company was full of strange things. Thick security that is clearly inefficient beyond just being inconvenient. A risky data structure designed to be able to destroy all data simultaneously at any time. Widespread, organized, behind-the-scene action. In this huge anomaly I couldn't grasp the threat of, I finally found it. My father's personality data. After ten years, his personality data was so modified that the original was unrecognizable. In cleverly placed memories, my father had turned into a murdering machine that blindly carried out revenge for his daughter. In my father's memory, I had been killed by terrorism. I found his fond memories with me became the fuel for his revenge. A battle program on my, where my caring father is nowhere to be found, he is locked in a prison of hatred and repeats meaningless revenge. Only the Sanabi project remained. Only then did everything become clear. For a long time, the royal family had been extremely wary of digitizing personalities and had banned it. They've cited ethical issues as a reason, but there is only one reason. Digitized personalities are reproducible, and reproducible personalities may pose a threat to the royal family. Because unlike artificial intelligence, where the core technologies are under state control, Personality data always guarantees the original's level of intelligence and ability. Because you can organize an army with just one well-trained soldier's personality data. Because you can't clone you can clone a personality, 
and you can gain power against the royal family with worldly power of money and technology. The worldly power of money and technology. Huh. Yes, the Mago group was was going to challenge the heavens. And my father was the blade of trees and held by Mago group. The rest of the game tries to make you look cool no matter what you do, and this section just says if you aren't being cool, you're not continuing. <laughs> You aren't being cool, you're not continuing. That's epic. Ugh. Oh, I could have made it. Who needs buses? I don't need no buses. I'm going on ahead without it. Oh shit. Back was feeding the cats. Congratulations, you fed the cats. Wolf. Oh no, I need that. Ah. Nice. All the snipers back. Man, this game's fun as hell. <laughs> Kick. Also love uh, the main theme being thrown in there. That's pretty sick. I mean, it's been playing the main theme this whole time, actually, but, like, very clearly. Uh... Kind of been playing a variation of the main theme. I just heard like the exact main theme from like the title menu in there, which is cool. Oh boy! Damn it! I tried to toho it. Ugh. I'm dead as hell. Yes, and the kitten was fat. Don't say that about the poor kitten. Oh. God, I'm getting close though. So close to the end. I think we know how this ends though, right? We're gonna fuck the royal family shit up. I mean, Mago Corp is gone, right? There is no more Mago Corp. They're all super duper dead. The only thing there is to do now is to attack the royal, the royal family. The royal family needs to be fucked up. Yeah, right? Kick. Who needs a bus? I don't need a bus. Alright, I need this bus. Whoa, that was cool as hell! But that was so awesome! Did you see that? I just killed him with a bus! <laughs> That's amazing! I was trying to take the bus with me. I was about to give it a name. I knew I would hit the very edge of it because I suck. I wish there were more of those in the game. Ow. More just little guys that you can just like bounce off of. 
They're fun. I don't like that. You know what you should play after this? A game called Dondera. Another game with fast movement. I think I know what that... Wait. Dondera. One sec. Let me... Let me check. Nope. Okay. I thought I knew about that one, though. Oh, wait. I put in... Oh, yeah. There it is. Yeah. Don't dare. Yeah, I do have that one. Yeah, I've seen gameplay of it, and it also appealed to my sensibilities. <laughs> so, I might play that one. Hey, Mina, are you here for Super Earth? What the fuck is Super Earth? Yeah. Do you... Uh, do you- how much this kitten eats in one day? It's like a vacuum cleaner with whiskers. <laughs> Once they discovered the leak of the secret project, they immediately shut down all the company's networks. And began to erase all data. So you- Mari did everything. Mari is the reason that everything happened. Faced with that terrible decision to bury the whole plan at any cost. The only thing I could do was create a copy of the Sanabi project and take it. Sanabi project. This personality that used to be my father was modified to only operate in one type of environment. Workers. Multi-purpose worker androids used in Mago. I found a worker that was still accessible and inserted the Sanabi project. Typed in the detailed settings as if I was in a trance. Meet me, Mari, in Mago City and chase after Sanabi. What's the point? Even I don't know why I'm doing this. The Sanabi project is no longer my father. I know that better than anyone else. A personality reprogrammed in an irreversible manner that will never return to its original state. You won't be able to remember me no matter what happens. No. No, I remember you. I remember you, Mari. For the past ten years, I had desperately pushed it down while pretending to be enraged to endure each day. But one emotion was always staring me down. Guilt. Yeah. Even now, I can feel its gaze. I killed my father. Uh, I just got an ad that started with a gunshot. Jesus Christ. That's how they get you. Advertisements gotta catch your attention. What better way to catch your attention than to just fucking <laughs> just shoot you? I can't think of a better way. Oh. Nice. I should start just shooting guns on my stream. You're just to keep, like, retention. <laughs> just, every once in a while, I'll just fire some shots in the air. <laughs> I've never... Oh, I can't say I've never touched a gun in my life, because I have. Ow. Where I come from, it's literally a privilege. I want you to guess the human age that I was when I first held a gun and shot it and killed a creature. I want you to I want you to take a take a gander. What age? What do you think? Ten, six, five, uh ding ding ding, uh uh Barry wins. I was five years old when I shot and killed a squirrel. I was shooting a gun as a five-year-old. What is wrong with this fucking country? <laughs> oh shit. There we go. Oh no. Sick. Huh? 
Did I go backwards? Oh, whoops. I went backwards. How did I do that? Why did I do that? Who did I do that? Huh. I got a lot. Ah. Uh, this is alright. Oh. Oh my gosh. Blah blah blah. Mayarka. Merk. Happened to me too. Did it, really? Oh wait, that you went the wrong Oh yeah, because Oh I see. I, I wasn't typically you just kinda run forward. You don't have to pay attention to your surroundings that much, but that was one where you had to have some some actual spatial awareness, I see. And hey, I'm down for that. I think the game just kind of conditions you to hold forward and fucking go. Ah, you just had to. Bam. Man. It's a Nobby fun game. Sanabi not... Sanabi got problems. It's one of the most fun, flawed games I've ever played. But I would love to see what this team did next. Because there's a lot of great stuff here. It's just like, dang. The pacing, this game has some of the worst pacing of any game I've ever played. And I don't play a lot of bad games, so it's not that bad, but like, dang. <laughs> like, it's rough. It's, it's very rough, but like, at the same time, the game is just so fun. Finally having like a full level that feels like an actual fucking level is so, is such a breath of fresh air. Oh, oops, I was reading chat. You're right, Sanabi fun game. Crazy how this is their first game. Yeah, and that gives me, that, that like, kind of gives a pass, you know? Making your first game with a studio or, or by yourself, God forbid, by yourself. Ow, God, fucking thing. Oh my gosh. That robot vibe checked you. Ugh, except the training room charge dash one. Oh, you're probably gonna love going back right- Yeah, I will hate doing that one. I don't know when it started, but I don't remember him very well. Even when my father occasionally appears in my dreams, his voice, his face, everything is blurry. I'm on my way to help Mago City. I still don't know what I want, but I think, if I try, if I can show him my old self, maybe he'll remember me. Oh, it would be wonderful for him to miraculously remember me. Will he be happy to see me? Will he forgive me? Oh, I forgive you, Mari. I forgive you. Dad, I tried really hard. I'm not sure if I did the right thing. I just want to see you again. That's all.
Mari is there. Are you human? You're here. Why are you so late? A robot that doesn't follow orders. It's a defect. A defect. I'm not sure from when. I don't really remember. But ever since a certain point, nothing in this world went according to my wishes. I guess today is no exception. Well... I'm used to it by now. I just... Oh, I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. Sanabi was at this power plant. Mister, you removed the cognitive restraint, didn't you? To be exact, stopping the self-destruction of this city. That's the Sanabi I designed. We can't let the innocent people of this city die because of the crazy corporate scumbags. If you understand, then please get out of the way. The reactor's temperature is well over the threshold. We are out of time. I have to go inside and take down the core myself. Even if the royal court... Even... Even the royal court that's above the city right now. When the reactor stops, they'll leave the city alone. Ugh, why didn't you just go find Sanabi? If my body doesn't last in the radioactive pit, do you know how many people will die? What's with that hat? Did you go see the colonel? Wait, you didn't kill him, did you? Mari. Don't say my name so easily. Let me make this clear. You're not my father. You're just a tin can that imitates a human. A replica of my father converted into a weapon. I feel so stupid. This was such a simple end. What was I trying so hard to accomplish on my own? I know I have no right to say this. But I don't like you. There's no way I'll ever like you. So please just get out of my sight. I don't want to waste my sadness or feelings of regret on a fake. Oh. Getting all the way to the end is not what's important. Why not? Did I not do a good job this time? That's not important. Guys, I'm finally got me. Oh. <laughs> Who cares if you played until the end? You got all the notes wrong in the middle. The key was totally off too. And the beat too. Doesn't that mean I didn't do a single thing right? It's exactly what I'm trying to say. Sorry, but I don't think you have any talent with playing the harmonica. But it's okay, Dad. You're still a beginner. It took me a long time to learn how to play this from Mom. Mari, I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? Just, I'm sorry about everything. Everything. 
I'm sure there's so much you want to do. I'm not doing a very good job as a father. Sometimes I miss your mother so much. Look at her kick her little feet. Do you miss mom? I miss her too. You think she's looking down at us from heaven? I wonder what she would say as she watches us. You know, Dad, whenever I was sad, Mom would play this song for me. You remember Muffin, Dad? Our cat crew. When Muffin crossed the Rainbow Bridge, I was so sad. Felt like Muffin left me all alone in this world. Mom played that song back then and said this to me. With every hello comes a goodbye. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Finally got me. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. <laughs> She's so goddamn cute. Oh no. A giant worm, man. Can you play the harmonica for me? Oh! So no Oh my god!
Yeah, it's the main theme. Of course it's the main theme. Obviously that would be the main theme. Of course. Why would it be anything else? Fuck me! <laughs> Sounded pretty good this time, right? <laughs> oh no, look at her. She's so cute. Oh. Oh. It wasn't hard at all. <laughs> Oh, 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 God. Because you can't really blame Mari for what happened. She was a fucking child. <laughs> Every hello comes in. No! Oh, look at her crying! Oh. Look at me crying! <laughs> Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> I don't care what the final boss is. I'm going to kill the fuck out of it. <laughs>
God damn, that hurt. Oh. Oh no. No final book? So about that final book. Oh my god! The real fine of us for the emotions we were pushing down along the way. I would have liked to at least see him, uh, To at least see him die or something. I respect that this does not happen even fighting one in that robot form would have been really fun. Oh, gosh. All in all, um, the game is less than the sum of its pieces. But the pieces are great. They're really, really fantastic. The game looks great, the music is awesome, the story is engaging. The gameplay is engaging. It's a great, like, a whole lot of great things. It is not stitched together very well. Um, some of the cutscenes go on too long. Uh, like, even that final cutscene that's, like, really getting to me is, like, it's still not paced very good, you know? That was a good sandwich. Too bad y'all were too sad to have any of it. And like, during the- uh, like, especially during the final act, there is, like, not a very good sense of what you're fighting for. <laughs> like, so the royal court has come to destroy the city. Why? Why- why was the royal court even there? Yeah, but like, the whole point, the reactor's about to go cradle, so they were going to destroy it to stop it. But isn't the whole reason that I died was to stop the reactor? The fact that we don't even see uh, our death is weird to me. Like, okay, not a final boss, but like a, just give me a short cutscene of him sacrificing himself. Like, show me that. I was a little confused when we cut right to the graveyard. You did. The royal court didn't go to the city. Yeah, but why does the royal court need to be there? What? Imagine the story without it there, what changes? It's just some kind of... It just makes it a little more complicated. 
I guess at the very least, because they need to have a bigger battery. But we didn't. But we didn't fight that bigger battle, evil, eviler guy. The only excuse I can see is to make you go through the entire city again for that final Celeste kind of ending. But like, I feel like you could find a justification for that to happen. You know? It's a very nebulous story element. There's a lot of story elements that are a little bit nebulous. Aww. It's the it's the pose he was doing when she was falling. Aww. I kind of like having the game just end. The whole point was that getting to the end and beating Sanabi wasn't the point. So not having a final boss is a good way to do that. I agree. However, uh, I want, like, I don't even fully, totally understand what happened to me. I just kind of walked off screen and then it's just assumed that I'm dead. <laughs> like, eh? Like, show me something about what I did to die. I get, like, the general thing. I went and died to go stop the reactor, but, like, how did that go down? How did that happen? <laughs> And yeah, one, one like, final boss would have been cool, but... Oh, man. That said, I would like to see what happened if you pick the other option you presented with. I would, too. My biggest complaint is when I have with most games. I wish it was harder more. I also wish it was harder more. Um, the only part of the game that was hard was, like, unfairly so. I felt like it was a decent difficulty, though. It wasn't too hard, but it wasn't that easy, you know? I died a couple times. Pretty decent dis difficulty curve other than um, Major Song. Um, I will note there's supposed to be two free pieces of DLC coming this year. Nice! That's cool! That is neato. Okay, so you only get... Oh! So yeah, I made the correct decision, if that's how that's working out. I mean, I'm gonna go see real quick, because why not? The art style is really fantastic. Yeah. I'm too emotionally destroyed by the game to criticize it properly. It reminds me of if Celeste. Uh, with Celeste, they wanted the beginning of the game to be easy enough for anyone to beat it. But I feel like this game overcorrected when it comes to how long uh, easy enough for anyone, period, lasts. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. So I'm assuming you just get like a cutscene. Thirty minutes. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa, this is pretty. Holy cow! Oh my god! Oh my god, that was a. Holy shit! Oh my god! He doesn't even exist. Oh, uh. oh. 
that was an incredible cutscene. <laughs> that was... That was... Amazing. Around this time, you'll be thinking about the choice that you made and that it's probably not the correct one. <laughs> oh. It's not important. Uh-oh. 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 Sanabi eliminated. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Terminating project. Important to make it to the end. Oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so one of them is just like a you don't get to see the rest of the game type beat. This is the any I got first because I thought it, it would be the one with the final boss. <laughs> Uh, uh, like I noticed that for most of the game before the song, before the song fight, you probably do without the swing dash. Uh, yes. I did mention how I was surprised that it gave you the swing dash so early. Once it started giving you abilities little by little. Yeah, I also thought they could have held back on the swing dash. That was one hell of a big thin line, yeah. But that's the thing that got me. The thing that finally cracked me was realizing what that line was actually talking about. What it really meant to not this it's not important to make it to the end. Ah, oh. That was quite excellent. That was quite good. I really enjoyed that. Um, it, uh, again, I kind of have issues with it, but like the issues are almost kind of, um, I don't know. I feel like they're a little rectified after a first playthrough. But at the same time, I kind of want to see all the cutscenes again, you know? So, I don't know. Um, it was really, it was good, though. Um, well, seeing as we have a bunch of new people, I should probably give the audible plug. Uh, uh, check out my Twitter or Discord if you want to see my schedules and when I'm streaming. I'm going to be super spotty for this month, um, other than the event that's happening at the end of the month. Um, so if you want to know when I'm streaming, probably Discord, actually, because I, like, I'm probably jumping off Twitter soon, but follow me on Twitter anyway, so I can have a small dopamine boost. Um, uh, also check out my YouTube, subscribe to me on YouTube, I might make videos. No, I'm, I'm in the process of making videos, so. <laughs> it doesn't hurt to post twice long. Uh, well, thank you all so much. Let's also please stick around, um, because, uh, I would love if we could, uh, show some love and appreciation for someone else and, uh, give them, give them a raid. Let me see if I've got someone. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yes. Oh, excellent. Oh, yes. Wait, have I raided them? I think I've raided them once before. Let's raid them again. Thank you so much for coming, everyone. Thanks for being a homies. Multiple. Plural. And, uh... At the very... Uh, at the very latest, I will see you towards the end of the month. Thank you. Mm. A goodbye.